Later, Brennan. Oh, calm down. What What's was that? Much, my headphones killing my ears. Oh. <laughs> we <laughs> popped well, in and I just heard pat 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 pat. I didn't. Under We're under fire. Oh god. <laughs> Everyone get down. But also your ears. Yep. <laughs> Okay, and there we go. Cool. And F11. Good to start whenever. I'm just getting out of this way. I don't even care if I die. I'm ready to go. Okay. Ready to go. Um, chat avatar. I never got myself a drink. Probably the last thing I'll go do. There we go. <laughs> Who cares? I'll just keep playing the regular music. <laughs> the place probably has more than. No, 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 don't worry. I've, I've, I've gotten new town My music. brain! I've gotten new town music. Thank God. We have variation. Oh, man. Thank goodness, because that was... I haven't cleared off my desk for rolling dice. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go use the washroom quick, get a drink, and then we're just getting started. Yep. Please get your stream going. Oh, it's... Dude, I've been streaming this whole time. Oh, perfect. Ahead of the ball on that one. Gotta roll this out. Yeah, I'll even play the new time music for you. <gasps> I'm so ready. Nani? Here we go. Let me turn that shit up. I immediately love it, but it's so quiet. Oh, I love it. It's so fun sounding. I don't want to max up the, the volume of the uh, box. I don't blow everyone's ears until it's, like, it's too late. Too late. <laughs> Too late for me. What is this? Is this session six? I don't know anymore. <laughs> the one shot turned long shot. Okay. I'm super excited. No backseat gaming in my D&D. <laughs> I love this, like, synthesized... <laughs> this is good. I can jam with this. How about some dice? Let's get some dice. Oh, that's true. Twitch rules are very confusing now. I don't even know where he's gotten this from. It's so hard for me to know. It's impossible for me to know. I mean, it sounds a lot like generic Celtic jam music that I used to get at the Renaissance festivals, so I don't know. Is that a bug on my... It was. What are you doing, little friend? Is it a boog? Is it boog? Roll some d20s just to see what happens. One falls off the table. Natural 20. Cool. It's gonna be a good night. That was a waste of a 20. <laughs> Nothing else I can just keep. Actually, until he comes back and tells me what this is, because now I have to be paranoid. I totally forgot about that. <clears throat> totally forgot I have to be super paranoid about what music shows up in my streams again. None of us know where the line is anymore on music that we can or can't play. With Twitch uh, put in new rules for music. What are they? Basically, you might just get banned without knowing it. Wow. And they're now going through and have an automated system where anyone's clips that has copyright music in them will automatically be deleted. Interesting. To cover their own butts, I believe. 
So basically, when, when you, need to make, you just need to go make Creative Commons playlists and only play those. That's what I'm listening to. What Pretzel uh, does is basically uses uh -huh. uh, rights-free music only. Mm -hmm. So that's why I use it. It's just really shitty for people who just like chill and listen to music or play music streams like Guitar Hero stuff. I'm like, I don't, I don't, yeah, where's the line? How does that work for Guitar Hero? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Where is the line drawn? Is there a line that's been drawn? How about video game music in general? Yeah. How about playing a game that has music in it? How about we're playing this and whatever Crucible's playing? Like, is yeah. that copywritten? Who knows? Crucible's gonna get you banned? I don't know. Am I gonna get myself banned? I don't know. I have no way of knowing. So I'll just sit here and drink my beer and if I get banned, I'll just go to Mixer or something, I guess. Yep. Start over again. Uh, like Shroud. Bro, Dr. Disrespect was calling Shroud out the other day. They're always calling Shroud. I know. <laughs> Some, a bunch of different, like, game news groups uh, reported Dr. Disrespect calling Shroud out for being a hacker. And I'm like, wow. Okay, who's ready to die? Yeah, Me! Always. always ready. Crucible, where's this music from? Uh, this is just generic Irish town music off YouTube. Is it copywritten in any way possible? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Please tell me, because I apparently can get banned now for that, so. Really? Yeah, they changed the music rules on Twitch. So should I just not play any music at all then? Oh no, you can. I can just do other things, but I just want to know where you're getting your music from. Well, who's your dealer? Who are you talking to for this music? Um, My dealer doesn't tell me where he gets it. From Tin, from Tinland. I don't know. I mean, My dealer doesn't tell me where he gets it from. It's from Fantasy and World Music by The Fletchers. Yeah, it's probably copyrighted. That's probably copyrighted. Yeah. So I assume you're going to definitely... I'll just, yeah, I'll just have my own music on. Which, again, silly. I guess one thing well, you could do is you could actually pipe the music out to the few viewers and you listen to. No, I can't. That's actually much more complicated than just doing that. Yeah, so it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. But, it, it, but OBS it, makes it that way, and so does Windows. Oh, did you get like a notice just now when I start playing that? No, no, it's just uh, one of people in my chat brought it up because there's... um. They basically put new rules in place due to DMCA stuff that um, if you exceed a certain number of infractions, you just get banned. Um, because up until now, well, it would be, they can do it live, potentially, um, or it will just, the bot system will automatically review your VOD and then determine that you were playing that. Anyways, well, if it is an issue, I would just say, yeah, just mute it. I've just got my own music um, going. All right. Are we all here? Are we all good? Yes. Roll call. Owl. Uh huh. Dre. Yeah, huh. There he is. Yep. Red. Yep. Amun. Amun. He said it to Wumbo. He said it to Wombo. Yes, I right. appreciate that arc. Thank you very much. So, where we left off, you guys had uh, gone trip. on a shopping trip. <laughs> uh, shopping! <laughs> around, uh, around the city. Um, med meeting some, uh, you know, interesting characters and meeting and browsing their wares. Uh, some of the individuals you met, uh, a few of you had met the night before, during or the day before during the festival. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the same time, you were also uh, thinking about and uh, deciding upon leads that you wanted to investigate in uh, as to where these assailants that attacked the city the night before had come from and possibly where they have gone with the abducted townsfolk. Uh, one lead you guys did follow up on uh, is uh, the, uh, the purple swatch of cloth that uh, uh, Sabum had found in the underground area. Um, near where they had uh, apparently had their main operation come going from. Um, and uh, it was recommended to you 
uh, that you should probably take it to um, the Winter Winds uh, uh, clothing shop. They are sell fine clothes in Yartar, probably the only shop that sells those types of clothes here. And uh, to see if they could recognize it or if it's one of something from their of their wares. Uh, they can. You went there and they did confirm the uh, the shop owners. Uh, I just can't remember the name. My own. My own. Uh, <laughs> um, you did confirm with the twins, uh, Tholassel and Thorn, that it is indeed from uh, some uh, p uh, article of clothing that they did sell to an individual um, named uh, Ilya Vitali. Who, uh, your clerk, uh, Oberon, does recognize as one of the merchant lords uh, of the city. Uh, one that, uh, generally, from uh, Oberon's experience, uh, is sometimes opposed to uh, the Water Baron's uh, sort of governing. Mm -hmm. And you left off outside the shop of Winter Winds up in the... Uh, let me just change the map for you guys back to the city. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, in the uptown area. Where we so, will funk you up. Um, what would you like to do? We cannot accuse a lord merely off the scrap of glass. But we, okay. we have evidence we can follow, right? We have evidence that he purchased... This. No evidence that he still had it, no evidence that it was him wearing it. Right, so we have more investigation work to do. We do. I think we have a number of things. Um, I think a good step might be we should look and see if Hoyt, uh, Mr. Beldabar, back at Beldabar's rest, knew or had a ledger of who people were staying that night, because those hooded figures were staying in his inn. If we can figure out who or where they're from, maybe we can figure out something to do with uh, Mr. Ilya. I think that's a good idea. The says after staring at the cat the window. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of cats in this town. Yeah, there's, you've noticed as you've gone through this town, there's a lot of cats. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Anyone else have any good ideas? Okay, yeah, I mean, yes, that is what we are doing in a sense. You're right. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, we could, um, uh, we could look at the boat too. We could maybe investigate and see if there's anything left of that boat that blew up. And the winery. And that. We could go do a very thorough investigation of the winery. Which oh, I'm, I mean, I'm... Mostly just looking for any sort of incriminating evidence beyond the letter that we found. Um, I'm sure our friend uh, Mr. Hawk here will investigate very deeply into each cask to make sure there nothing is in there. But beyond that... This one's empty. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get heading to Beldabars then, shall we? Anyone doing anything else before we move on to Bellabar's rest? No, I think I'm good to follow. Okay. Follow me to and adventure! You guys make your way back t uh, towards the center, more, more towards the center of the city, outside the market square, and um, proceed back to uh, the Bellabar's rest inn. Uh, you head down the earthen path and make your way inside uh, to the familiar um, uh, indoor tavern. Uh, seems like there's a, at least a little bit more business now. Uh, a few people have uh, um, are sitting down having a drink set at various tables. You do see Baldabar um, behind the uh, behind the bar, and uh, you know just idly cleaning some glasses. You know, keeping everything maintained. Mr. Baldabar, we're back again. Lots of visiting oh, with welcome you. Welcome back. Yeah, so, I had a quick question for you. Um, do you happen to keep a record of people who come and go? In your inn? Not particular. I 
keep some of that information up here. And he kind of point, kind of like you know, knocks his head. I don't really write it down anywhere. Uh, it's also kind of you know, not generally in good business taste to give out private information like that. Sure. <laughs> But if, for example, we were investigating the murder and kidnapping of several people of the city and we needed to know who those hooded figures were that were staying here the same night that I arrived, would you be able to do that? <laughs> uh... What, man? You know what? For you guys, sure. Yeah. Uh, which figures again? They were, so... And he points at the door that he had seen the hooded figures go into. Do you remember who was staying uh... in that room? Yeah, funny folk. Um, couldn't. <laughs> Who's? Is this someone else? That were you expecting company? Somebody's Who's knocking on? Somebody's knocking on one of the indoors, uh, <laughs> trying to get into a room. Oh, let me in! Let me in! <laughs> you have cats in here too. How many cats are in this oh, damn they're, city? They're everywhere. We have a problem with cats oh, in this city. Oh God, that's awful. You should call an exterminator. Anyway, um, yeah, those this people. Yeah, can you so, tell me about them? To be honest, I don't know much. They showed up, they paid for a room, and they kept to themselves. I couldn't get a very good look at them. Uh, they appeared to be human, um, but they were mostly covered. Their, uh, you know, faces and had the hoods on, and, you know. One of those shifty types. I said, I, I said to myself, as long as they don't cause no trouble, it's fine. It's fair. Are you saying they cause trouble? They cause a lot of trouble. That big explosion, that trouble. Ooh. Yeah, so we're trying to figure this out. We won't mention you well, or anything like, you know, you're not incriminating. I would, I would really appreciate that. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll keep the whole Beldabar bit out of our investigation. Um, I did overhear them talk once. Yeah. And they did mention. They didn't. I did overhear w uh, two words, and that was marble brewers. Interestingly enough, they provide some of the alcohol for my end. Yeah, yeah. We've um we've taken a trip, um a self tour of sorts. We were thinking of stopping by again, actually. Well, that at least confirms oh, yeah, some I, suspicions. To be honest, I don't know where they're based. I. I do know they uh, both import and uh, brew various types of uh, alcohol and ales uh, for Where the city. Oh, uh, I just per I just purchased from the wharf. They have everything set up there, and uh, I have it sh I have it shipped over here to my uh, to my inn. Is there a specific salesman that you talk to, a contact that we could go see? Um, most of the most of the sales are all handled by the uh, part of the wharf master's. Uh, um, sort of crew there. They take basically take care of everything for the uh, um, the uh, basically the owners of the product. Uh, most of the stuff there is just shipping and you know receiving different things. So they're the sort of the owners of the product themselves aren't so much the salesmen. They give the price that they want to sell at, and the uh, sort of the wharf workers handle it from there. Hmm, makes sense. Well, Oberon, um, guys, do we want to try and investigate ourselves at the brewery, or do we want to harass some warfers? I say we should speak to the wharf first. We cannot investigate the ship at the same time. I like that idea. Yeah, good, good. Um, Hoyt, it's been a pleasure speaking with you again. I'm sure we'll be back very soon, as usual. Um... Keep the ale ready. Um, Hawk's already probably gone through all your whiskey, I'm sure. <coughs> He'll be oh, needing more. I've got plenty. Oh, Don't good. Worry. Good. Wonderful. Well, all right. Thank you for stopping by again. Absolutely. You need and if else, um, you know where I am. Yeah, if you see anything suspicious, yeah, you don't know where to find us, but we'll find you. God. And he just turns around and I'll walks away back to the, the door. Card, no. That works. That's fine. Take care. All right, come on. Let's go. Anyone else doing anything else before you leave? Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Putting down the cat that's in Sabum's arms. 
I'm not taking it with me. <laughs> He's just been petting every cat that we find. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna be spending a lot of time petting cats. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Quick jog to the wolf. I'm still waiting for that check. <laughs> he wants an animal handling check. Oh boy. Sorry, I. Uh, He's being I legit. Cat that was in my lap. You had a real cat in your lap. <laughs> Roll an animal handling check. Roll an animal handling check. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Did that? Did that go through? Well, it oh, seems like cat, it did. The, the, you put the cat down, and the cat purrs, kind of yes. rubs up against your leg, kind of meows at you, but then walks off. Yes. Meow. How much experience was that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure it was a good one. Oh, yes! It was well spent. Is that a fake cat? <laughs> yeah, this isn't three, this isn't a three, uh, third edition rules where you use experience with cats. Uh, it's ridiculous. Well, those, those are only certain spells, and they needed a cost. Because I was like, wish. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Anyway, right. off to the wolf. You all head back out. Make your way down to the uh, southwestern part of the city to the wharf. Um, it seems as you uh, kind of pass the threshold of the gate uh, into the wharf itself, you know, sort of clean up is mostly being, uh, seeming to be the main uh, uh, work going on at the moment, trying to fix the damaged docks. Um, you can now see sort of the extent of how far uh, the fire had broke out. Um, several of the barges were damaged. Um, however, they most of them still look like they could be salvaged. They don't look like they're complete losses. Um, except for the one that the explosion, of course, originated on. Um, a few of the buildings uh, had some damage, but nothing entirely went up in flame. Um, the docks themselves, however, did sustain pretty extensive damage. And uh, they're already, apparently, you can see that already the workers are um, trying to get... Uh, sort of things fixed and uh, working again. Uh, replacing the uh, planks and nailing in wood. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it up and, up and running. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Anybody. Or all of you. Doesn't matter. Um, 21. What is the? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> At least they're really high. Shh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, you all pretty much take notice um, that uh, the river pretty packed mm. because there is about you know a quarter of the docks currently operational uh, oh. to accept vessels, uh, and you see that they're trying their best to unload and load barges as quick as possible but there is quite a long uh a, quite a large amount of barges out on the river just moored mm. not, unable to do anything because there's nowhere to dock yeah, that makes sense. That's really looks cool. like business is booming too soon okay too soon. sorry take two points of psychic <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um. All right. So, is there anyone that looks like they are the wharf master or someone who knows directing people? Um. I'll take in your original perception checks. Uh, you do notice that there is an individual that seems a lot of people seem to be going up to. Um sort of, uh, you know, talking to them, conversing, then running off. They do seem to have some kind of a clipboard in the hand. They're writing things down. They seem to be a pretty busy individual, but a lot of people seem to be talking to them. So you could probably ascertain that. Don't know if they're the Wharf Master, but they're at least they're someone so important. Yeah. Um, Oberon, you're a big official business up in here, right? You go talk to him. Sure. I go ahead and approach the figure. Okay. Excuse me, good sir. 
I am looking for the work master. Um, what you see in front of you is just a man, a sort of handlebar mustache, bald, uh, dark tan skin. Pretty burly. He goes like, Hi, I'm the wolf master. How can I help you? If you have a moment to speak, I'd like to speak to you about the Marble Brewers. Marble Brewers? Yes. We'll talk to the salespeople. I'm busy. You were going to say something? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let him talk. <laughs> I'll stop myself. <laughs> okay. Is there anyone in particular I can speak to in regards to this? He kind of gestures in the general direction of uh, one of the sort of buildings on the wharf um, that uh, just says or just ha has um, a long uh, line of people outside of it. Um, apparently lined up to go inside. It says, mm. over there. They'll have what you need. I would like to take an inside check to kind of just get a measure of this man. See if he's... If he sure. Reacted at all go ahead, go ahead and give me... Go ahead, go ahead and give me an inside check. Uh, where's my phone? Um, Eight. Hmm. While he's doing that, can I kind of creep away from the party and go see how that boat that blew up's doing? Sure. Um, you kind of head over to a near-ish the dock that the uh, boat was um, uh, docked at. <laughs> the dock itself is completely destroyed. Um, most of it gone or heavily damaged from the fire or the explosion, one or the other. Uh, the barge itself is still there. Um, currently, it is. Uh, it does seem to actually have some people on it. There seems to be some makeshift sort of uh, walkways uh, sent out onto it, and you do see a few uh, shield guards there um, um, out of the city's, you know, guard force. And seems to be, uh, you know, doing something on it. You can't really tell from this distance, uh, but you can likely ascertain. You did mention to uh, Irwin when um, previously last night when you had first made your way to the wharf that you believe that that seemed to be the origin of the blast. So okay. they, you likely guess they're most likely investigating it. Good, good. I'll wait just a moment. Okay. Yeah, I will, um, after being dismissed by the Warbath You, Oh, um, Ron, you kind of judge the man's character. You tell, he yeah. he's probably is, in fact, pretty busy. Um, yeah. And... Likely much more busy than normal because of the circumstances. Right. Uh, so, and he, he just seems to be a little <laughs> short on patience. So unless you have, you know, likely uh, information that is very useful to him, or, you know, right. you're there for to... actual business that's relevant to him, he probably won't care. <laughs> for now, I'll leave him be. If he finds something else on the wharf. I'd like to mention that uh, we're under an official investigation by the Water Baron. We're, we're launching an investigation. Make that point to the man. Make, make a persuasion check for me. Mm. That's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to persuade the man. Yeah! <laughs> Natural 20! To persuade 20. him and his entire family. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of just persuade him. Fucking bards. Okay. <laughs> He just kind of like sighs and looks down. I fine. What do you want? I forgot what we're at. <laughs> <laughs> we have reason to believe that Marble Brewers are involved in the goings on of what happened last night. Thank you. Well, I can't <laughs> help you with that. Uh, the Marble Brewers, are the, they have their own business. We simply sell the stock and ship it out wherever it needs to go in the town. What have you learned so far about the ship that exploded? That is something you'd have to ask the shield god. I do not know. I have been too busy dealing with gestures out to the, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> clusterfuck that is the river. <laughs> Fair. Very However, busy. if you do want to know more information about it, um, head over there. And he kind of points towards another building. This one, a lot less busy. Um, okay. And says... Over there, we keep the all the 
ledgers and records of all the all the uh, barges that come through here. They'll have what you need. If you want to look into the origins of it or whatnot, I'm sure the god have already done it, but you know how they are sometimes. Thank you. Is there anything else? Not for the moment. All right. Just tell them George sent you. We'll know. George. <laughs> All right. Did we? Did I notice the half elf walking off? The <laughs> did Did he? Did Did you try? Oh to no! I was just way? just kind of hands in pockets, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you uh, you notice? Okay. Yeah, I'll go join him. Oh hey, how's it going? I was just looking at this, you know, party that's happening. I was waiting for you to finish and go talk to the guards, because you kind of seem to be like an easy pass for talking to people of stature around this town. I can't imagine why. I can't either. Um, and he'll walk up toward one of the guards that's stationed there and go, Hey, um, can I ask you for a moment of your time, sir? Uh, yeah. What can I help you with that? We are part of an investigation team. Um, who are investigating the goings-on from last night, the explosion and the kidnappings, uh, by order of the Water Baron. And, um, I would like to speak with you and see what sort of information you've gathered from your investigation, which I presume that you've investigated this exploded boat. Oh, yeah, no, we actually involved- yeah, Erwin mentioned you. Um, yeah, we can definitely share the information we have. Um, in terms of the barge, um, <laughs> sorry? No one. Darius just sent a message. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, where was I going with that? <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Tell me about the barge, damn it! Don't get so distracted. <laughs> Come on, your god. Oh, uh, you know, I sometimes like to stare at the clouds. I mean, I get it. They're very pretty, and oh, look, that one's a that dog. One looks like a, that one looks like a lion. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. I see it. If you turn your head a little bit, it kind of looks like. Oh, sorry, Oberon. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So anyway, the yeah. barge. The barge. Um, I know a little bit. I, for the most part, we don't know the cause of the explosion per se, um, but we do know we do have the the. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the barge. <laughs> <called now. laughs> oh man, what are they the ledger. That? Not the ledger. Oh the... no. We have the piece of paper that has all the contents on the ship, with all the contents on the ship the on it. The manifest, it. wonderful, <laughs> excellent. Manifest. Would we be able to um, borrow or procure that for our investigation portfolio? Uh, yeah, I believe it's over by the. And he points to the same building that the uh, wharfmaster had pointed at. I hate waiting around. in lines. Okay. Not to, not the busy one, the less busy one. Oh, good. The busy one is the where all the all the purchases and sales are done. To be fair, the half elf wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said Oberon. Yeah. Oh. Just because you know you had talked. To okay. Them. Um. Yeah. I Thank you. It, I believe they have it over there with the ledges on all of the other barges that have come through. Good. We've Wonderful. We looked at it, but we couldn't find anything conclusive. You're free to go check yourself. We shall do so. Thank you very much. Um, the Water Baron thanks you for your service. And he turns around and walks away. The head kind of held high, trying to act all like snooty investigator. <laughs> Arms okay. behind his back folded. Despite. kind of just goes up and starts looking at the clouds again as he just waits. <laughs> kind of next to the dock. Oh, next to the, next to the one, entrance to the boat they have set up. That one's a horse. Bart. Turn and head towards the, uh, the building that. Both the guard and work master indicated, and I uh, indic beckon Mr. Hawk here to follow me as well. All right, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> so as is we're anyone walking, do is anyone doing anything else? Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, it's fine. No. Okay. As okay. we're not walking me. towards the building, oh, Darius. No, I was saying not me. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, as we're walking, I uh, kind of lean over to Hawk and say, "You seem to be familiar with." What caused that explosion last night? Um, you. Somebody remind I, me. What? Yeah, you. Um, <laughs> Black you, powder. Based on the, ex I, I told you based on the explosion, what you could tell, it definitely wasn't magical in nature. It was likely from, you know, some sort of explosive compound. Um, that go boom. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know 
what kind, but likely something similar to what you use to create yeah. your your ammunition for your. That was big boom. But it's sort of large, much larger. So something likely like gunpowder. Like yeah, whatever the equivalent of gunpowder would be in you know this world. Probably gunpowder. Probably just gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> Some fancy Blasting powder. I mean, they've got like naval vessels and ships with cannons on them. I mean, is that okay? Is that, is that canon for this world, or is that just kind of a loose thing? Yeah, no, gun, uh, explosive like gunpowder, blasting powder, whatever you want to call it, is canon. That's a thing. It's it's, it's just the like tinier version new, of it that's not. <laughs> it's it's newish. Like there now are sort of now they have like diplomatic wars with like dwarves and halflings. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Like they're, they're, it's just like on, like on the cusp. Like people are experimenting with it, but it's not like widespread, and it's certainly not that common to see it in such a small form factor like the one hot. Okay, okay. So we're talking like early, early black powder. Sort of, yeah. Where crossbows are still as we're probably still better than. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most okay. you can still see most people are going to be using crossbows and you know the the traditional ranged weaponry. Um, you know, there isn't too many, like, armed forces out there using, um, you know, black powder type weapons. Okay. Well, I, I continue on with, uh, Stick the Hawk. Oh, when we get to the manifest, I'd like you to look over it and see if you recognize anything inside of it. Do we have it right now? We're gonna go get it in this building. Oh. Okay. I'm lost. We're trying to go acquire a manifest. Is the building very busy with people, or...? No, this one isn't as busy. Uh, it is completely, <clears throat> it's completely um, it is open, the doors are wide open. Um, upon walking inside, uh, your group sees just sort of plain interior, um, with a few, uh, desks set up. There's individuals at them, sort of sorting through papers, um, very office-like, sort of, for a, you know, medieval town, you could say. Mm -hmm. Um... And looks like lots of shelves of books and parchment uh, and scrolls of likely stuff related to whatever the, what the wharf deals with. Is there like a clerk or a secretary? Uh, there is a desk up in front that does have an individual at it. Um, you do see a, um, a uh, young half-elf uh, poring over some papers. <laughs> Sorry, cat in my mouth. Um, <laughs> The desk. A cat jumps on Oberon as we walk in the door. <laughs> Why? Uh, the the, the half-elf kind of looks up at you. H Hello, how can I help you? I have been ordered by the Water Baron to assist in the investigation of going on last night. Oh, um, of course. Uh, can like I get your, your name? Yes, Oberon Summer. Um, she kind of like looks down, looks at another sheet of paper on her desk, like, oh yeah, okay, yes. Uh, your group. Um, yeah, you're free to investigate whatever you need. We're, we're told to not leave anything, you know, hidden from you. For the moment, there are two interests of particular interest. Or two things of particular interest. The boats that exploded, both its manifest and its ledger, well, it's mostly its manifest and its travel ledger, as well as the goings-on of the Marble Brewery. Who they um, trade in, who they deal with, everything. That would be more over in the other building. I can assist you with the manifest. Um, we Please might do. be able to get records of where that particular barge has been, but we believe we had already looked into it, and we honestly are we pretty inconclusive, which is rather unusual. Um, but here, let me get you the manifest. And she kind of uh, gets up um, and sort of Heads over to one of the shelves, starts going through the rows, uh, kind of looking like she's counting to herself, and then she kind of grabs a um, uh, a, a, a sealed a parchment, some off the shelf, comes back to you, and says, "Ah, here it is," um, and she unrolls it, and uh, it is a ledger of a for the barge that. Apparently is the one that exploded, or, or the manifest of the barge that apparently exploded. Um, there's some unusual things about it. Um, honestly, about this manifest, uh, the gods, the steel shield, the uh, shields. I've already looked into it. 
but um, they couldn't find anything. Uh, the things we did notice, Bodge doesn't have a name. It was carrying goods, um, the typical kinds of things, you know, nothing on, nothing out of the ordinary that we could see. Um, but uh, yeah, that's really about it. Uh, the fact that it didn't have a name is quite unusual. Most ships of that size do have a name. <clears throat> There's no associated title manifest. You do not know where it came from. Surprisingly, not. We don't even we don't even know who helped dock it or are signed them in. The uh, yeah, who was working that night when that. There's numerous, there's numerous, uh, numerous people working on the wharf that could have done it. Um, Let's question all of them. The wharf master himself could have done it. Uh, there's a few others that could have. It's difficult to say. But it is rather unusual. Can we have some names? <laughs> Don't make me name them. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just go everywhere and ask everyone. We should just ask anyone that was here if they would hear. Um, give me a second here. Where were you on the night of? <laughs> Where were you on the night? Where of were you on the night of last at, night? At this time. <laughs> at this point, um, could Islanor kind of creep away from the party and go try and take a peek, see at the other building to see if there's like a back door or anything? I also asked, how long was the was the barge docked? I know there was no records, but... It had docked the day prior to the explosion. And no so... one questioned it? No guards? No wharf officials? Apparently it was signed... It, apparently it was uh, brought in and everything was everything was as it should be. Um, but some of the paperwork does seem to be missing. Whether or not it was made at all or if it was taken, we do not know, but if... Uh, if from what I've been hearing through the gods that they think believe these individuals that came into the city came from there, it's somebody covered up their tracks. Mm. Um, or at least seemingly covered up their tracks. Um, but yeah, the manifest is there for you to look at. I'll pass along the manifest to Hawk. Alright, let's see. Gunpowder, gunpowder, more gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and roll an investigation check for me. Exactly what flesh should we get? We'll see how it goes. Actually, I kind of oh, have no, a no, question. No, Does anyone actually have investigation of deficiency? That's me! <laughs> the guy who's slowly walking out the door right now. <laughs> I've also got it. Okay. Now, give me a history check. Oh boy. With advantage. Alright, I'll kill this one. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank God for advantage. Luckily, you have the advantage. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. He's holding the paper upside down. <laughs> oh, shit. You, you, being the individual you are, know that the material you, you use to make your ammunition is not exactly easy to come by. Um, and sometimes is even restricted in some areas um, as contraband. You recognize one of the sort of shipping names on, or uh, shippers, I should say, on the manifest. Um, and that is, you know, a known um, sort of cover for a, you know, a smuggling ring. Let's see. And the name is? Unimportant. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love it. Name, unimportant. Oh, really? <laughs> That's fucking amazing. I thought you were. I thought you were straight up fucking with us. <laughs> I thought you were just being like, "I'm not making up more names." Stop. <laughs> unimportant. I love it. All right. See us right here. This is unimportant. <laughs> well, yes, it is unimportant. They generally deal in just basic. Unimportant wares, to be honest. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! Totally doing this on the seat of my pants. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's what it's supposed to be. Who, who, who ordered this stuff? Where is this coming from? 
Um, this. She kind of looks it over, checks some papers. Where is your purchase order? <laughs> the purchase order is not handled here. They're handled over there. No. Oh. And she points back at the same building. Uh, to a massive, li massive line of people in front of it. This is why Islanor is sneaking into the back. <laughs> That's what he wants to do. Are you actually sneaking? I'm. I'm. I'm leaving the building to go look at the other building. Yeah. Try and find a back way. Um. Anything else you want to? You want to know about the barge? You want to ask them? I will ask them if there is. Considering the important investigation, is there any way we can bypass the line? Um, Any one thing that we should speak to? If you go through the back, ah, <laughs> you could, in you could just say George sent you. Fair. He's the wolfmaster. Okay. He'll understand. He know he he's, he already knows. He's very busy and he doesn't want to be bothered. So I'm just doing him a favor, I guess. Indeed. Thank you. Uh, Jester for Hawk to return the manifest. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's, it's not fair enough. We should probably... Keep it! Evidence! Well, we can't just leave it. But... She, I was not handing over the manifest. She, you know, like, if you, do you reach for it to try to take it with you? Well... <laughs> well Alice, is there a copy of the manifest we can take? Um... We don't have a second copy, but we could... I could make you a copy? It would take me a moment, if you don't mind That'd waiting. That would be perfect. All right. Bear with me a moment. And uh, she kind of um, goes uh, back with the manifest, um, seemingly going to make a copy. All you don't know how long she's going to be. <laughs> so did, so did, did, is everyone else still here in the building, or did be out? What, what is everyone else doing at this time? I am going to the other building to try and find a back way in, having basically heard none of this conversation. <laughs> so assuming that I am sneakifying my way in and so breaking anyone, in. Can anyone else go and follow Islinor? Okay, then you're on your own. Perfect. I work better alone. Oh, this is gonna end poorly. It's gonna end greatly, don't you judge me! Got my own theme music and everything. So you're out in front. What do you do? I would like to sneak my way back around the back side of the building. Are there any like? Is there a second floor? Is it a f one floor building? Uh, see, it looks like a one-floor building. Doesn't seem like there's any windows really particularly at the top anywhere. Some windows around the first floor. Mm -hmm. um, and as you go towards the back, you do see another entrance. Um, however, there is a guard in front of it. Mm -hmm. Or seemingly what looks like a guard. Looks to be another, like someone else that works at the wharf, but seemingly just sitting there at a chair. Um, apparently reading something. Mm. Any windows near or around him? Yeah. I'd say there's a window maybe a, a 15, 20 feet away from it. Okay. I'll um I'll start by just walking up and um uh excuse me. Hello. Uh can I bother you a minute? Hi, how can I help you? Uh yeah, I'm investigating part of the investigatory team, uh as ordered by the water baron, to uh try and figure out what happened last night and there's a very long line outside out front here. Would I be able to perhaps get in this back door that you were so surreptitiously guarding? Don't know about no investigation group. Can't let you in, sorry. Mm, well, it's, you know, it's something that the Water Baron ordered and he'll, um, pull it. God, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> he rummages through his pockets and realizes he has no fucking money on him. Wait, seriously? And literally. <laughs> and goes, um, no, well, I mean, yes, but that's a spell. Um, look, I am really trying hard to be a better person, 
and I would really appreciate if you helped me out here. I can promise you a few gold pieces in return if you can get me in this door here. My party and I are very good investigators, and we do have some money hanging around. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> it's not going to go well, by the way. Nine. <laughs> Sorry. Can't do it. You'll have to go through the front. Got it. Okay. Um. So what if I would... Besides, we keep all the records here in the back. All the sales are handed up front. Right, and you. the records are what I'm kind of looking for. Um, so what if talk to the wolf master? we have, and in fact, he told us to come here. Um, so if Go me saying... Go check. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh! uh -oh. Natural one. <laughs> uh, which brings it to a total of zero, by the way. <laughs> unless, I ha unless I have a, unless I see something either written from the Wolfmaster, or he himself comes, can't let you in. Well, I mean, George sent us. No. He told us to send, say that George Wait, sent George us. Sent yeah, George sent us. Ah, all right. Not too many. He doesn't tell that to too many people. Does he not? Thank goodness, because I for a moment thought you were about to beat me upside the head. I appreciate. Oh, why would I do that? Just asking some questions. Well, asking questions with a fist is a very common investigatory tactic, so, you know, oh. paranoia, that's all. Right. <laughs> uh, here. He kind of stands up, puts uh, the book he was reading down, and uh, sort of opens, uh, um, opens uh, the door for you, and he kind of enters in. I got an individual here investigating the explosions. They want to see the records. And um, you can't see who, they're, who he's, he's talking to, mm -hmm. but uh, um, you do like over here. Yeah, yeah, send him in. And, Wonderful. Uh, he kind of looks over at you and says, "All right, get in." And he just kind of quickly s skips right in the door. Okay. Um, you do see a uh, a dragonborn this time. Uh, sort of, uh, uh, sort of, um, sitting at sitting at um, in a back what seems to be like the back room of this uh, small building uh, you do hear through a door on the left sort of lots of commotion and talking likely the front mm -hmm. where they're handling all of the sort of receiving and sales type of de type things um, all there um, any uh, this uh, dragonborn blue just in case you're wondering <laughs> Very important um, detail. <laughs> Critical. In case you're wondering, kind of looks over to you. All right, what do you want? Uh, yes, hello. Um, my name is Isdenor. I'm part of the investigation team uh, working on behalf of the Water Baron. Um, uh, investigating what happened last night. There is a certain barge which exploded last night, and my compatriots and I are trying to figure out, you know, in details about it. Um, who was on it? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Well, it didn't go anywhere, but, um, you know, where did it come from, who, who's in charge of it, um, we also need to figure out, uh, there's a connection with the Marble Brewers, um, which we're assuming, uh, have connections with these, uh, kidnappings that happened last night, uh, anything that you can offer us would be very helpful. Well... I do believe I've seen the Marble Brewers, there was something they had ordered on that particular barge. Let me go look at the sales uh, manifests. Wonderful. And he kind of goes, he kind of uh, goes, picks out some piece of paper somewhere in the room, comes back, kind of looks at it. Ah, uh, yes. Seems they had two sh two orders on that barge. One was from Unimportant. I'm and uh, the other one was, uh, seems to have been sent from Somewhere over by near Waterdeep. That's, Waterdeep, okay. Looks like a per that one looks like a personal, uh, personal shipment. Mm. It doesn't seem to be coming from any um, known individual group that I know of. I know interesting. Them all. Oh, I believe it. Um, record keepers tend to. Um, interesting. Okay, unimportant. 
Doesn't sound important. Um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the other one, personal, it, there's nothing at all. No names, symbols, nothing. It was a simple, was a simple shipment meant to be picked up by an individual. Um, uh, Does it have a name for that individual? Uh, representing the Marble Brewers, that is all. Hmm, interesting. And do you know of anyone who would have been here on watch last night, or who would have been the, you know, the point of contact for sale uh, and trade for these items here? Would that have been you and perhaps whoever's manning the frontier? It would have been whoever was at the front. I have all the sales records. Um, hmm. uh, apparently, a uh, somebody somebody came in to pick up the shipment. They took it off on their own, uh, likely took it to the Marble Brewers warehouse. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, not much more than that. Okay. Well, I, uh, I greatly appreciate your time. Um, I wish I could pay you, but I'm strapped for cash at the moment. Um, investigating doesn't pay the best, you know. Uh, but... Really Don't appreciate you. It. Honestly, just get out of my hair so I can just finish my work. Wonderful. Yeah, sure. No problem. And he's going to 180 and head for the door. <laughs> Before you leave, he says, oh, 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 it does help. I believe the Marble Brewers is owned by one of the Merchant Lords here. Who? Um, he kind of like thinks it one second. Making a roll. <laughs> I believe it was one of the Vitalis. Wouldn't happen to be a particular Ilya Vitali? What is it? To be honest, don't know. Big family here in town? They are reasonably sized family. Most of the merchant law families are quite large. Mm. Right, okay. They, most of them own many businesses in the city, so. Mm, understood. Unsurprising. Good, good. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, that is primo information. Thank you very much, sir. Um, have a wonderful day. And, and if you're looking for information on who was working the docks or whatever that night, you probably find that sort of information either from the Wharfmaster or by checking... Uh, or by checking uh, the Sleeping Kraken. The Sleeping Kraken? Uh, what? It's a tavern not far from here, a little rowdy. Well, the wharf workers tend to go. Oh, wonderful. My kind of place. Um, okay, cool. Um, yeah, wonderful. That's a lot of good information. Very valuable, sir. Uh, I'll leave you to your business. Won't take up any more of your time. Thank you very much. I'll just turn and walk out the door. Okay. And back around to try and meet up with the party. Yeah, you find them. They're just sort of in the same building. They've been just waiting for a manifest to be copied. Walks up and taps Oberon and Hawk and everyone on the shoulder and goes, Guys, I got some information. I did something. You wouldn't believe it. I did something on my own and I only mostly fucked it up. Um, mostly. Um, so I went next door, um, went around back and uh, kind of worked my way inside, you know, like I do. Um, there's a, uh, there's an inn nearby called the Sleeping Kraken. Uh, gentleman in there said that there might be more information, uh, maybe there. That's where a lot of the dock workers and wharfmen, uh, kind of spend their nights and evenings. Um, so we might get something more from there. Um, there was, uh, orders on the barge. One from unimportant, but that doesn't sound useful. Um, and another personal one, um, from Waterdeep, uh, which could be interesting. Uh, but no names, no... Anything really? Well, you, you, you say the unimportant ones, don't un well. It, it's it's probably probably something to look into because it, I, I may or may not have have purchased something from them. For Was it important? Me, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you lying to me? No, no. Hmm. See, see the stuff that. See this, this pistol? Yeah, it's magnificent. Yeah, it goes boom. 
Yeah, very loud. Yeah. And yeah, so it, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, gunpowder. Really, mostly bows and arrows, actually. And quiet yeah, so woods where explosions don't happen. Th this makes it go boom. It's a very hmm. small amount. Okay. That, that ship right there yeah. probably had a thousand times more hmm. of it. That's a lot. It's rather a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd, say, I'd say so. So you, what you're telling me is that the unimportant thing is actually important. Probably. I had never thought of that. Genius. It's a brilliant naming scheme, you know? Well, um, what are you guys... Are we waiting for something here? Sorry, I like... Oh, did, did you get a copy of this? Absolutely this not. No one makes copies. I didn't ask. Did you ask uh, what the um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So one of the orders was handled by someone representing "quote unquote" the brew, the marble brewers, and probably was taken to their warehouse. So it sounds a lot like our field trip's going to end up going to there next. No name you're given. No name. No, no name was even on the record. I, I didn't see anything. No. Which is extremely suspicious and kind of really bad business. Yes, I would expect a warp of this repute to be, have more records. Yeah, so there was just, yeah, there was no names mentioned, no nothing. So I think if we figure out who was on duty last night, we could heavily reprimand them. I think you have the right idea. And, I mean, also figure out what, you know, the person who took this was. Uh, but beside the point. So, um... You all just waiting around for uh, someone here? I kind of yes. backed out of the conversation pretty early. I have noticed. We asked the secretary to make a copy of the manifest. Oh! And as you say that, the secretary returns with a copy of the manifest. Wonderful! Excellent. Uh, here you go. Here's the copy. If there's anything else I can help you with. Thank you. I think that'll be all. Question where you look at the rest of the group and <laughs> hints that they should ask questions if they have any. Thank you, miss. That'll be all. Um, could you, um, could you point us in the direction of the Sleeping Kraken, actually? Um, yes. It's just over here. You, I want you to go past the gate. Take a left. Uh, then take a right. Then take another right. You people with your directions and, oh, this town's not laid out very well. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, left, right, right. Okay. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Take care. He's just running, running back, back out the door. <laughs> so as we leave, I'd like to reiterate. So what are our current leads? Um, uh, unimportant delivery from the barge. Mm -hmm. A personal delivery from the barge delivered mm -hmm. straight from the brewer's warehouse. Right. Once again, pointing an interesting image of this brewery. We do not know what from where this barge came. We do not know who doc who allowed this barge to dock, what customs agents signed it in. <clears throat> we have no idea what happened to the crew. Or if there was a presumably, crew. Presumably presumably if there was a crew, they're dead. They're all dead. If they were on the barge at the time. Right. Rarely though, does a crew at dock tend to entirely stay on the ship. Never. Shore leave is absolutely a thing. Which is why who, who does what agent operates on behalf of the brewery mm -hmm. for this wharf? We have so far too many questions. <sighs> Indeed. No, you you did don't don't forget you did also get the information that Ilya Vitali, mm -hmm. the Vitali family own Marble Brewers. Yes, but someone didn't communicate that to us. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if there'd be any value in comparing the manifest from the store to the purchase order. Well, you'd have to wait in line or go around to the nice gentleman in back, I'm guessing. Um, there's just one guard around back. Uh, he was a nice fellow. Uh, tried to pay him off, but I don't have any money. So... Tried to pay off the guard whilst in the midst of an official... Uh, look! Like, you know, things happen. Greasing palms is something that most investigatory teams do, isn't it? Those with ill repute, yes. Look, I'm from not here. 
or anywhere really for that matter. I'm not used to this whole city thing. I don't know what people do or don't do. I just had money and generally people seem to react well to receiving gold. So I just figured it was a common courtesy of some sort. Ah. Well, it is a courtesy. Do but it's not common. We are operating on the behalf of the city and for its own good. I suppose that's fair. Um, so what you're telling me is stop bribing people, basically. Yes. Okay. Well, that'll be easy because I don't have money. So... You were given 300 gold. What happened to it? Shh. Don't worry about that. Pretty sure I gave it to you, but I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be trusted with money. Are you kidding me? I keep bri I've keep i bribed so many people in this town already. Oh? Anyway, um, so <laughs> the Marble Brewers, um... Owned by the Vitali family, that's... I mean, I'm sure maybe the people at the Sleeping Kraken would be able to tell us more, unless you're really keen on waiting in line. I have no intention of waiting in line, but I am interested in speaking with this merchant master that you spoke with. So you and some more reputable looking folks from our party could go speak with them, and I could maybe take Hawk to do what he does best, and that's drink and talk to other drunkards, perhaps? Well, just trying to apply your cornucopia of interesting skills. If that's all right. Corn corn who? <laughs> Myriad, uh, uh, many skills. You have a lot of skills and I'm trying to use them for you good. Are you insulting me? Um, sure. We'll go with that. Did you just call me a halfling? You what? First of all, much taller than a normal halfling would be. Second of all, not a halfling. Half elf. Five foot what now? Listen, it's not about the height, it's about how you use it. Alright? Please, gentlemen, yeah. save the Whatever. combat for enemies. Fine. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> That would have been great, because that was a natural 20, but... <laughs> um, so... You know what, Oberon, so that I don't bumble over myself, why don't you lead the way, we'll go compare your notes with uh, their notes, and then we'll head on toward the, uh, the inn. Seems like a good plan? Sure, do that. Right, anyone else disagree? Sobham, you want to throw a fireball at somebody? Um... Gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that for okay. now. Okay, you're really good at it. Like I said, oh, applying you. skills. Not right now. Okay, okay. Okay, so you're gonna have um, um, Hawk and Islinor going to the sleepy, Sleeping Kraken. And anyone else that wants to come along. And Oberon and who else, who's gonna go to go speak to the salespeople again. I will gesture for Sovereign to come with me. And turn to Virna and, recommend, and suggest that uh, she go with the others. Where they're going, uh, they, can, they need a hand. Sounds good. <sighs> right. right. Adventure. Right? Exciting. I, I, turn, I, I will... turn over to uh, our little scoundrel and uh, t tell him. We'll meet you there at the Sleeping Kraken. We'll right. We'll try and not have too much fun before you get there. And he winks and Please gives him some finger guns and... Please do not get into a fight. I probably won't. No promises. Mostly promises. I'm, I'm more of a stealthy type. I mean, you've seen me. I'm all about the dance of fighting, not the brawling. Anyway, we'll catch up with you. He just kind of hooks Hawk's arm and just walks toward the door. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, then I will do uh, them separately. So I'm going to start with um, Oberon and Sabu. All right. So you guys are heading over to uh, the sales building. Um, yes. Still a pretty long line in front. Um, what do you do? Uh, well, I follow the instructions the secretary gave us and amble on behind the back of the building. Okay. Um, yep. You kind of see... Uh, 
you see a gentleman sitting in a chair reading a book. Um, you know, there's a few windows on the first floor. It's facing out towards the water. Not much else. I approach the man and mention that uh, George sent us back here to uh, come speak with the uh, Master of the Records. George? Really? Yes. He's giving out that information quite willy-nilly these days. All right. Um, one moment. <laughs> uh, yeah. he, opens, he opens the door and says, Yet another group of investigators for you. George <laughs> sent them. You kind of hear from inside. <laughs> oh, Send them in. Uh, uh, okay, answer. Uh, you enter, you do see a uh, sort of large um, uh, blue dragonborn, seemingly at a desk. Busy. So you interrupted him. <laughs> How can I help you? I take it from your tone that my compatriots spoke with you already. Yes. If uh, you mean the half-elf, he was in here yes. earlier. Is there something I else see. I can help you with? <laughs> well, in particular, I am interested in a copy of the purchase order that we have for the goods aboard that barge. We don't give out copies. I see. Even for investigations into the attack on the city. No. <laughs> Fine. May I see the purchase order? Yes. <laughs> he stands up, <laughs> grabs it from the table. That it's still there. Uh, he had not returned it. Shows it okay. to you. Here it is. So everything that was um, ordered and brought on that barge. Okay. Are you I, uh, scan it quickly. Receive any uh, receiver. Receiving or name being able to receive the order. Uh, just give me a second. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. <clears throat> okay. Am I able to do the same since I'm oh, pretty yes. much next to him? For the love of God, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you please. Can, you know, you Help. <laughs> or can I assist him? Uh, I don't have proficiency, so yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God, Brad, please. So I'm not proficient, so that's just what, just my it, intelligence? It yeah, it'll next be just... to the 19. Yeah. <sighs> Dang it. Oh my. Cool. <laughs> well, we, we actually don't know how to read. Great. Awesome. <laughs> so obviously I cannot find if there's anyone received this. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you look at it and you, you see a bunch of you see a bunch of numbers, a bunch of uh, words, uh, various products and orders. Um and there's names, but uh, when you look at the name for the Marble Brewers, it just says representative. Interesting. I pull out the manifest from the other building and compare it to the purchase order. Um, looking at it, I mean, you mean you see sort of the uh, sim you see all the same similarities um, of the orders do line up. Like you see what the people, uh, what has been uh, sort of sold. Um, had or purchased rather does line up what was on the barge itself. Um, beyond that, so there's, not no, much else. there's no extra or missing records. From both uh, of other than the it, rather whatever's missing is the same thing missing on both. Which you notice is there is no one listed as whoever docked the barge. There's nothing listed as to who purchased. Uh, who specifically uh, came to um, pick up the order? And there is um, uh, no list of anything in terms of uh, who, like, own, like who owned the ship or anything like that. There's that 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 information is all blank or gives some sort of very vague, um, you know, like representative or. You know, was you know was docked by, you know, dock worker. <laughs> Interesting. So I asked the the records, records keeper, um, is it common to not record who received and who picked up these goods? That sometimes happens. Um, you know what? Let me actually. 
something I should have been checking for. It's probably a little bit cold for mine. What's your... I to say, I want to roll an inside check with this guy too, but... Yeah, you know what? Just go ahead and do that for me. Don't mess up. Please. Do you want one from the turtle as well? You can give me one, you can give me one if you want. I'm nothing if not consistently bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's average, that's average. So he goes on and says, it happens sometimes when we're in a rush and we, we just get anyone to sign off for it if it's very busy, which it was right before the festival. Uh, you kind of looking into his character and the way he's talking, you could tell he's withholding something. He is not being entirely honest with you, you believe. Um, but uh, there's some truth to what he says, but definitely right. withholding something. Good. Well then, Ruckus Keeper, it's unfortunate that this time people have died because of this last behavior. Yes, it is very unfortunate. Now, is there truly nothing more you can give me as to who these individuals were? Give me a persuasion check. <sighs> I can't help you I on that one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good at this either. So this is I'm good. negative, so... so <laughs> I, stole, I, I stole the yeah. persuader with me, so... May I persuade? <laughs> you're not, with, you're not with them. Yeah. Somehow telepathically. Telepathic. <laughs> there, you're it's telephonically. <laughs> <laughs> no, I unfortunately don't have any further information. Then who would be able to help me in identifying who received these goods? Honestly, the uh, possibly the wharf master, <laughs> um, who you've already apparently spoken to. Um, otherwise. It was recorded, but it was just, you know, in, in this case, it's unfortunate. Couldn't get any more, any more information, but what was recorded is what was recorded. I see. I think hmm. the Water Baron should hear of this. Are you using that as, like, a threat? Is that a threat? <laughs> Are you saying that in, like, a yeah. tone that... Okay. Yeah, I am. Go ahead and give me an intimidation check. Yeah! <laughs> I, I'm not sure why you guys are excited because I have no. I know, you have no charisma! I was not joking, I will speak. To <laughs> <laughs> Tom, are you doing anything to assist them in this intimidation check? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just taking a step back because he thought we were about to leave. Can't just help <laughs> uh, no. Oh, no. boy. I just, I just turn and leave. <laughs> oh, what? no. Islador. Yeah. And Hawk. Yeah. Oh, and Vina. <laughs> and Vina. Hi. Oh, God. Come on, right. Better. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Later on, I'll sneak in and steal the information from him, from his you brain. No <laughs> I don't. The two least charismatic people tried <laughs> charisma and then also forgot how to read. <laughs> I think the only charismatic individual we have is Hawk, so. Because <laughs> it ain't me. I got a solid right. minus there. You guys follow the instructions given to find the cavern. Left, um, it right, is, uh, right. It is actually in the labor district. Um, what you come up to is a large structure nestled amongst the warehouses of the uh, here at the uh, labor district. A sign hangs over the entrance with a carved pentacled monster hanging underneath an impression of a ship. The uh, Do you enter? Absolutely. Well, first take note of any unsightly individuals that might be wandering about the outside real quick, looking suspicious. Absolutely. It's the only thing I'm good for. Uh, uh, 18. Looking around, you do see a point of, you do see a number of individuals all looking in their own way, somewhat, you know, shady and shifty, as apparently is this is a more you're told, anyways, a more rowdy 
a tavern mm -hmm. that uh, you know attracts certain kinds of individuals. Um, beyond that, you don't see anyone in particular that draws your attention. No one eyeing us up in a unsatisfactory manner. They're all eyeing you up. In an Sweet. Manner. We should probably be on our best behavior and guard, just in case. Make sure you keep. Make sure you keep good hold on your coin they do take purse. Notice <laughs> of the Minotaur. Yeah. And <clears throat> they will. They watch. They do not approach you. Good. Let's go inside. Push the door open all confidently. You kind of get the same scene that you would get, you know, in those like old West movies. Oh, where yeah. <laughs> every, it's like loud, everyone's talking, and then all of a sudden it goes silent. And everyone looks in your direction. The music kind of, the music on the inside, <laughs> there's a, a bard playing some music. And then everything goes back to normal. Kind of eyes uh, up the room. Inside is, the interior is dimly lit. Uh, with an impressive seating area. Uh, there's a sm the, the smell of lingering stale ale permeates the air. Um, but, I mean, for a place that's apparently kind of rowdy, it seems reasonably tidy. Not, like, that nice, but not, like, the worst either. It mm -hmm. is definitely a, it definitely looks like a step down from Beldabar's Rest. Hmm. Right. Anyone who's obviously kind of sailor type, maybe that uh, has some, like, burn marks on their clothes or something. Just trying to single out some individuals. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Sweet. That went right off the table. Four dice. Oh, I wish you wouldn't have, because that's a one. Uh, so seven. We're not doing we really well. We can't roll for shit. We're not doing really well at all. <laughs> this is bad. Trying, we need. Trying to give you guys as many options. I know. I know you are. I, re I really. Everything. I really appreciate you for that. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Where um, are the heroes? I honestly thought you guys were going to get this in, like, instantaneously. Yeah, like, this, is the, this is the longest part of the full fucking session. <laughs> is Nora is just looking around like, wow, this is a nice ceiling. Uh, is this made from around, a ship? You don't notice anyone in particular. There are sailor. There are looking like sailors here. That seems that maybe some of the people from the barges themselves are here. Um, there does seem to be some, you know, you know, labor workers here, you know, taking either on their break or this is their off day, whatever it might be. Kind of sitting around enjoying talking, some gambling in the corner, you know, typical stuff you'd see in a tavern. Um, you do, the only one that you do make notice of is the individual behind the bar at the, the back of the, at the back of the tavern. And what you see <coughs> is a black dragonborn, um, sort of middle-aged, you'd guess, um, tall, uh, pretty, pretty well built, uh, the scale has scaled the scales are dark and weathered um and large curled forward facing horns mm. mm -hmm. right saunter up to the bar elbow on it and kind of excuse me uh barman i have a word with you hi right, what do you want shot of whiskey please Right, one moment. He kind of goes and starts pouring your, pouring your shot. Kind of slides it across the table to you. A good friend. I'll take I'll take an ale and um, a conversation, if I might, on behalf of the Water Baron. We're investigating last night's goings on. Mm, right. Had a few of you type through here already. Mm, I'm sure. Ask away. And he starts pouring your ale. We are curious um, as to certain individuals who would have been working the wharf last night. Um, we're trying to find a couple of people who would have been in, you know, sort of doing the receiving. Just want to see if your ears have caught anything amiss. He kind of, as he pours the ale, kind of like eyes you and finishes it and kind of brings it over to you. Doesn't slide it over, but kind of comes like right up to you, kind of quietly says, so as not to be overheard. 
You best be careful who you start blaming around here. You might not walk out. Not trying to blame anyone, just trying to find justice. Fair enough. I do know one. He's actually staying here in the inn. His name is... As I go find him. <laughs> Steve. Unimportant. Steve. Unimportant. <laughs> Unimportant. <laughs> the plot thickens. <gasps> now it's Steve. Now it's Steve. <laughs> well, one sec. We'll, we'll, we'll save this. We'll save it. Give me a second. <laughs> wait. 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 Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. We're close. We're, We're close. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. This gives you time to type up notes. It's fine. I do know one. Staying here in the end. His name's Colton. Colton. Not even close. <laughs> Colton. <laughs> PH. <laughs> yes. Colton Henry. Colton Henry. I believe he is um, third floor, second second floor, third floor, on, or third room on the right. Wait. Second floor, third floor, third room on the right. Got it. <laughs> Second floor, third room on the right. Third room on the right, got it, got it. He's like writing in a little notebook and like scratching lines out repeatedly like, okay, okay. Third floor, second, no. Second floor, third room on the right. Got it. Okay. Sorry, I've had a rough day today. Understood, <laughs> so have we. Honestly. No, that was me, not the dragon board. Agreed. <laughs> I've also had a rough day today. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. I'm pretty sore. Um, right. You think he, uh, might mind visitors? Hell if I know. Hell if I care. It's a good attitude to have. I haven't seen him in the past couple of days, but... Really? That is his room. Is he dead? Well, let's not jump to conclusions. Let me know, so I can get someone to go clean it up. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll have a look. Um, appreciate the assistance, sir. And he'll just, like, chug the whole ale. <laughs> And then just roll a constitution check for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First character death go. Yep. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> is it just that plus my constitution my modifier? Yeah. Just yeah. That really sucks because it's a six. <laughs> Assuming you don't have proficiency. Um. It's a. No. It's a check. It's so. A, it's not a save. It's can't a have proficiency with that. <laughs> Can't have proficiency in check. Um, you go drink it. It's pretty strong ale. It's not the best. Oh. Um, and you kind of like, like almost like, like it gets like caught in your throat as you're trying to chug it, and you know a little bit dribbles out of your mouth. You manage to barely hold it down, but you clearly are struggling. And the dragonborn just kind of chuckles. <laughs> Sets the glass down. <sighs> it's a little strong for you to have. Yeah. Time. Yeah. It's. <clears throat> Not stronger than river water. You know, I'm gonna go check the room. <coughs> oh, oh, <clears throat> Sorry, something caught in my throat. Um, he kind of just, you know, um, starts uh, back to what he was doing. By the <sighs> way, it's uh, one silver piece for the drinks. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Hey, Hawk. One of you has money. <laughs> um, we'll put it on your tab. How about that? And he pats him on the shoulder and walks to the stairs. Do you have money to pay? <laughs> just gonna sit there. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that 300 gold go? <laughs> Who has that? Remember, remember how we went to the shop? The oh yeah! <laughs> it's all gone! <laughs> you turn your money into liquid. I actually have no money. This is gonna get really funny in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just heading up those stairs. Hey, Vina, can I, can I come along, or do you want to watch Hawk's back? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna get a, just toss him a gold piece. And oh, thank away. God. <laughs> you actually have a gold piece? You have money, yes, right? Yes, okay. I do. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of takes it, looks at it, surprised. 
remember you. <laughs> uh, I could have gone so fast. He kind of eyes, he kind of eyes you, Verna, but you know, just nods an acknowledgement of your, you know, stature. Kind of, kind of like you know the, you know, kind of has like the mutual like, yeah, I see you work out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where? Where have you seen me dance? Where? Yeah, where have you seen me dance? Yeah. <laughs> I'll cheat on you. I'll cheat on you sometime. Uh, what are you guys all doing? Isdenor is just walking upstairs, frustratedly swearing to himself, like, I need to steal some more money, obviously. Okay. I'll take okay. an IOU. <laughs> <laughs> He's just heading right where he was instructed. Kind of okay. quiet. He's, he's trying to be quiet. Are you guys staying downstairs or what are you? What's Vierna? Yeah, what's Vierna? Okay. Vierna, what are you doing? I think Owl went. Is he at his desk? He said BRB in the roll oh. 20 chat. Oh, um, okay. Okay. okay, we'll assume he's following you. Presumably. She. she. Damn. Um. You guys uh, make your way, you go to the door that you were instructed, the third one on the right, on mm -hmm. the second floor. Um, you know, none, nothing of note. Do you, what do you do? Listen to the door, see if anyone's in there. Give me a perception check. You can roll that, right? I sure fucking can. It's a 22. It is silence. You don't hear anything. Try the, try the handle. See if it's locked. What's the spell? That technically would also be perception. Um, going off of your perception check, as Lenore, you kind of smell the kind of around the door near the crack or down at the bottom. <laughs> you catch a hint of what you think might be blood. Oh, uh, that's 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 very coppery. That's um, yeah, that's that's blood. That's try the try the door handle, see if it's locked. It's locked. Um, so, fun fact, um, my thieves tools kind of broke when we were... didn't spend your hammer gold repairing them. <laughs> I might have forgotten about that. Um, and he's like pulling, pulling out of his backpack. He's like pulling everything out. He's just like, fish? No, that's not helpful. Flowers? No. Shit. God, that fit. <sighs> I'm leaving that in the hallway. Um, <laughs> you just leave it, you just this, leave it uh, two rotten fish in the hallway, oh. or two two raw fish are just left strewn about the area as he disassembles his whole backpack. Like, to be fair, actually, they wouldn't be they'd be raw, but they'd be preserved. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. So sure. they're, they're probably still good. They're just there oh. for now. They smell. They smell though, like real strong. Mm. Real fish smell. <laughs> okay. Oberon aren't here to judge, right? Not yet. Hopefully. Not yet. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I'm missing all the fun, damn. It's right. time to kick the door down then, I guess. Well, shouldn't we be like quiet? We don't want to raise a scene. Come here, Verna. Oh God, don't whistle, don't whistle. Come on. Yeah, yeah, we should not have split blue here. We really- <laughs> Split the <laughs> group, split the group. Results. All right, um, <sighs> Vienna, could you please dismantle the door in the way that you do? <laughs> and he, Islanor steps like third, he just goes to the other end of the hallway to the stairway and watches and sees if anyone is going to notice this, which everyone is going to. <laughs> Alright, what kind of roll am I doing? Strength? Yep. Hey, give me a, give me a strength check. Oh my god. I'm sorry! <laughs> I forgot! All I know, I'll steal some. <laughs> I love how they don't, you know, bother to just go ask to see. If I know they that's they're just gonna bust it down. No, we're we're not Come the on. brightest folks in the forest. Come on. We should not have put the twenty-five. Gonna <laughs> 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 blast that door to me. <laughs> He's gonna send that you're door not, to the shadow you're not realm. Gonna, like, walks over, you know, the thump of the thump of her hooves on the wood, kind of, you know, looking at the door. Kind of nods, grabs the door handle, and just flexes and yanks 
Oh. <laughs> and the door just, un just like, you just hear a splinter, <laughs> and the whole door just comes off. Oh! Uh, did anyone That's immediately, anyone immediately, like, look? There's no one in the hall at the moment. Right, but the Islanor is, like, at the stairwell looking down to see if anyone's, like... With the music going on and the people inside talking, seems no one overheard that. <sighs> Thank goodness. <sighs> and he just, like, looks up the hallway and gives a thumbs up. Been trouble. <laughs> <laughs> trouble. Chaos crew. Chaos crew. <laughs> That's fireball. No. <laughs> Someone dives through the window. <laughs> through the window. Casting fireball. <laughs> uh, uh, Isanor okay. runs back over to. Oh wow, that was. Man, doors don't stand a chance, do they? Okay. So as you as the door opens and uh, sort of you're in a, moves <laughs> out of the way, and you get instantly a smell of of death. Mm. This does not smell nice in here. It smells oh. like like death. Oh, and the room is dark. Bugbear mating season in there. Oh. It smells like the time I left a hog out in the sun too long. Oh. The room is dark. The curtains are drawn. Um, not so dark you guys can't see, but... I have dark know. vision. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Um, what you see, it's a small room. Uh, there's a small table. Um, a bed. Uh, the window. Um, there is a, you know, bucket on the ground for reasons that mm. should be obvious. Um, and there appears to be some sort of figure in the bed. Covered. Hmm. Okay, well, at least we know we can tell the barkeep that his tenant is ready to be cleared. Get at this door. <laughs> we won't tell him about the door, we'll just kind of stand it back up, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's, that's coverable, you can, you can buff that out. Um, you can, you can buff it out. Yeah, no, he... I know. Is the Nor is where the hinges were? The metal was just like gone. Where the wood kind of strained against it, it just splintered. We'll maybe not mention that. Um. Okay. It sounded like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was like that when we got here. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Is there anything? Any uh, like a desk with papers or letters or anything on it in here? You, go up to, you want to go up to the desk and investigate? Absolutely. Give me an investigation check. Pow! Ooh, finally a good roll. 22. Alright, uh, you pour, kind of pour over the desk. Um, nothing on, nothing seems to be on it. There seems to be some, a loose piece of parchment, nothing really written on it. Um, and then you kind of reach underneath the desk. And you feel something stuck up, stuck up there. Pull it off. Pull it off, and... Seems to me there was a uh, piece of parchment uh, stuck with wax Ooh. to the underside of the table. And uh, what it reads is... Maybe after class, 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 3 p.m. Want to date, um, YN? <laughs> what it reads simply is... If I'm dead... It was all Ilya. He's the oh. one who brought them in. Oh. He's the one who made me do it. He had my family. I'm sorry to them. I'm sorry for all the pain that this might have caused. Colton. That's how it says on it. Hmm. He looks to Hawk and Vina and goes, I think we found a very nice piece of incriminating evidence toward this Ilya folk. This basically spells it out that Colton was forced to do this and says it was Ilya that forced him that he's holding his family hostage. Well, maybe. This is extremely dangerous. Well, where, where do we even start? God for him? damn it! <laughs> <laughs> no, there's something else. Anything else you guys do? 
cats are eating the corpses. <laughs> sure, why not? Cats! Yeah, Clear the I mean, cats off the... You don't, you don't know hey, there's uh, corpses. Hey, Crucible, where, where, is, where is myself and Salvo? Probably almost to the bar, not quite. Okay. <laughs> He, Islinor goes over and kind of doing the like really far lean back slowly like investigates the bed like pull the covers back like uh... You pull the cover back and you do see a human figure seemingly fairly young um dead mm. um seemingly stabbed uh the inside of the sort of rough um uh cover is Completely stained in blood, as is the rest of the bed. Um, really, all you see? You don't see a knife or anything that could have caused the wound? I will mention that. Hmm. So he was killed and left here then. Maybe someone sneaked in and stabbed him in the middle of the night. Is there, there's got to be something else. Is there anything else here? Check under the bed. Is there an under the bed? There is. Check under that shit. Give me an investigation check. Fourteen plus for eighteen. All right. Uh, you do notice a small um box uh it is some simply a wooden box uh you pull it out do you pull it out yes yeah. i'm assuming you pull it out yeah absolutely oh, it's like, no it's a trap <laughs> it's a trap <laughs> it explodes the entire <laughs> um you pull it out and you do find an assortment of various uh parchments and papers um Looking over it, it seems to be letters. Mm. Um, pouring over a few of them, nothing particularly of interest, but you do see one. Uh, this one is uh, sort of a bit more crumpled up. Um, you read it? Yep. And it simply says, you know what you have to do. And if you don't do it, you know the consequences. Don't let me down. And it's simply signed at the bottom Ivy. Hmm. Looks like our man, Ilya Vitali. Ivy. Yeah. <sighs> Boy, we are getting some good stuff here, Hawk. This is this is working out enough. Oh dear. You're not used to this, are you? Oh, I'm just hungover. Ah, so it's not the the. Oh, that's totally fine. That's it. <coughs> At this point. <clears throat> Oberon <laughs> and Salvo. Oh boy, <laughs> you you are at the front of the bar, or you're at the front of the you're at the front of the tavern. <clears throat> you see the same thing they did. What do you do? Go ahead and enter. Okay. Yeah. You enter. Uh, similar scenario. Everyone kind of stops. All the music stops. They all kind of look <laughs> at you, kind of judge you. This time they're a little bit more judgmental, seeing you know <laughs> you. Yeah, not so much at, not so much looking yeah. at you, Salvin, but more looking at Oberon. Oh, um, <laughs> an elf, uh, you know, a high elf of his apparent status is not a common sight in a place like the Sleeping Kraken. Bunch of racists. <laughs> Turtle, I get it. Uh, <laughs> I get it. see the black dragon born at the back of the bar kind of eye you up but uh you know beyond that nothing happens and everyone goes back to what they were doing all right well i will scan the bar for my compatriots no one is gonna fail <laughs> i'm just gonna tell you yeah they're not there yeah um if i can't find them i'll go ahead and approach the barkeep what do you want have you seen a uh, minotaur a human and a half elf come by recently yeah, the just one upstairs. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Which floor? There's only one floor. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have asked that when I walked in, but I didn't know. Earlier, rambling. Like, third, no second, no third. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, Watch yourself yeah. there, pretty boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you for the advice, good sir. And walk upstairs. He kind of nods and continues uh, cleaning his cleaning some glasses. You know, making the glass dirtier than it was before. Mm. Yep, with, the, with the dirty rags. <laughs> yep, the yep. Before. Exactly. Been cleaning that glass for two months now. Milk. <laughs> in a dirty glass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I go upstairs and uh, I assume I can spot the broken door real quick. You kind of notice right away. Yeah, there seems to be like third door on the right. Seems to be the door is not attached anymore. It's just <laughs> lying Walk you guys, the, the, the rest of you in the room kind of hear the individual's approach and, you know, your party is back together. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, no, don't cast a fireball. Spin around and draw a sword. Right oh. Here. Oh, it's just you guys. Okay. You obliterate a couple people once and everybody just assumes. Look, it was a really good fireball. I'm kind of intimidated. <laughs> um. I assume you guys still yeah, we won't, we won't talk about the door. No, it's... Uh, hi, how's how uh, how was your trip? Um, come up with anything? Uh, don't mind the smell. He's dead. So it, uh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Thank you for not uh, fighting yet. Yet. Yes. D well, I, I could tell it was not you because okay. he's been dead for far too long. Just making sure. Don't like assumptions. But really, the door. We, we found it that way. Roll a deception check. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Versus my insight, right? Versus your insight. Um, considering he's bad at this, this is gonna go real well with a solid eleven. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, eleven! Eleven! <laughs> Oberon, you believe that they did in fact find the door that way? It was. It was the dumbest thing. It was really wait, easy wait, to find. Wait, wait. I tied it. Oh. Uh, Sabo, you realize that they definitely didn't find the door that way. <laughs> it, uh, you know, we walked up here, it seemed really conspicuous that the door was like off its hinges and like no one, you know, that's not normal. And it just happened that's to be the room. Two marks in front of it, right? Uh, yeah, um, so Vienna's really strong, guys. Have you heard? Have you seen? Like, that door stood no oh, chance. I've heard. I've heard. Yeah. Um, the whole bar heard. No, actually, no, actually, I was I, watching. Yeah. What? No, I was watching. They didn't. Did you find anything exciting? Because yeah, yeah. And he holds up the box letters and the other letter and like one letter, like they're all hanging out of his fingers. Like, yeah, I found a lot of stuff actually. I see. Evidence. Um. So one of these had Ilya actually signed this one, and he hands it to Oberon, and he hands the other one that he read first from Colton to Sabum. He's like, see. You guys see the same thing. Look! Evidence that says yeah, it was no. him! This was much more productive than what we did. This is, yes, this is far more <laughs> Did you guys not? So I, can, I can tell you for sure, we found nothing more, but I can tell you for sure that whoever, that records keeper is holding something back. Unfortunately, uh, he did not uh, wish to speak to me. Would you like us to uh, deal with him? Different kind of bribe? Uh, maybe. Let's let's see if we can find something more. Sure. Also um. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> more cats. Sorry. There's so many cats. Um. So uh, I asked him. There's a cat so in the I, room. I, yeah. I kind of want to look over the dead Roll body. Issue. Um. <laughs> That's a dragon. Of course it is. <laughs> um, would my medicine skill give me some insight into how this guy died? Give me a medicine check. Or I guess it's my profession. <laughs> um, oh no, I have a medicine skill. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, medicine skill. Wow. Um, you look over the body. Um, you can say yes, definitely. The thing that killed him was being stabbed, likely by a uh either a knife or a dagger based on the depth of the wound um you can also ascertain that um he is being dead uh likely at least a day a day so so put it so midday day, yesterday so a little bit before the, during the festival a little bit before but likely around that time 
let's see. Uh, one stab or multiple stabs? One stab. Any, like, any cuts? Um, you expect or the body? You... Nope, it was just one clean stab straight to, or straight to the, uh, you know, vitals in the chest. Do I need like, investigation chest can, to realize that this is no defensive wounds? No struggle? Or is that kind of obvious? Uh, for that, uh, you'd have to give me an investigation check if you want to find, kind of figure out the, you know, just do, do the Sherlock Holmes, like, you know, replay the thing in your yeah, mind. I, I, I can't thing. fucking do that, but... <laughs> Okay, but I could help him with that because I'm proficient in investigation. Is, anyone is free to do this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let me. Oh shit. Oh, Natural God. one. <laughs> so a five. God. That's a five for me. <laughs> hey, hey, Bergen. How about you contribute to this? Too? Yeah. Everyone, just investigate the shit out of this man's corpse. We are the fucking. I really hope. I really circus. hope. I really hope Al gets the natural twenty. I hope so. It's like, wait, he's not dead. He's not dead. Minus one. Jesus Christ. No, you had a higher. Oh no, yeah, ten. Oh no, yeah. No, that was a medicine no. check. Yeah. <laughs> ten, five, six, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> so you guys are all puzzled, kind of looking like this and trying to figure it out. See, Quiet Verna in the corner. In the corner. <laughs> the Verna, Verna in the corner. In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes with a certain accent. <laughs> uh, Verna in the corner, kind of just like looks at it, and she, you know, you get the, you know, you know that meme of all the flying, like you know, mm -hmm. mathematical yep, equations yep. and shit, like flying. <laughs> that, just imagine that. And uh, Verna, you can definitely ascertain based on the marks on the floor, um, the body. The way it's positioned, this man was killed in his sleep. Whoever came in this room came in without their without their knowledge, and stabbed them while they were asleep in the bed. I'm glad I could figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> that makes so much sense. So there was no struggle. Oh, sneaky types. Right. So, someone stuck into this room midday yesterday, stabbed this man while he was sleeping? That's pretty impressive. It would make dock sense, workers, everyone was dock occupied. Dock workers, yeah, you will know. Working late would... Yeah, some dock workers work late, so... Some dock or workers would, would sleep during the day. With what involved was going on, he knew there'd be action at night. Hmm. Okay, um... There's, so, cool. we searched the room, right? Uh, you have searched under the bed, you searched the table. If you want to do another general search of the room, you are free to. Um, yeah, I, want, I would like. So, would perception be involved in like looking at, looking for anything out of place? That would be no. looking. Investigation would be like you're purposely like going right up to and inspecting things. So, take your okay. Pick. So yeah, so that'd be perception for just scanning. Yeah. Okay. He did it. <laughs> Finally, a roll. It's not a over ten. <laughs> um, looking around, you kind of don't see anything else in particular that catches your eye. Um. Seems like pretty much a normal room other than the dead body. <laughs> okay. I uh, like to peek out the door and see if there's anyone on the floor. Um, you look out the door, there's no one on this floor currently. Okay. I push back the corpse and I, look, uh, corpse, and I like to cast uh, Speak with the Dead. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that, <laughs> that's why I was like, god damn it, like, I, I really regret the <laughs> I need to be there! <laughs> Well, I was just like, I was like, God damn it! I have so many things I want to see. <laughs> is the Nor seeing this walks up, puts his chin in his palms, and is just like, "What are you doing?" Watch and learn. I'm staring very intently. So please stare less intently. Okay, I'll stare slightly less intently All from right. two feet okay, away. Speak with, speak with the dead on this guy. All right, let me just go look up the specific ruling of uh, specific thing of speak with the dead. So I love this I spell. <laughs> Exactly what it does. I do love how one spell in D and D basically breaks any kind of murder mystery. <laughs> it's true. Oh, we found a corpse. Totally... Talk it's... to the corpse. <laughs> you can't it's... have like a noir. Well, no. So, here's well, the thing. Here's the here's the, here's the thing though. Um, so speak, speak, speak with that is not. Um, they the 
uh, whoever you're talking to can choose to lie. Mm -hmm. They're still themselves. And not, and not give truth to answer. Yeah. That's so until true, the spell yeah. ends, you can uh, ask the corpse up to five questions. The, corp no the corpse only know knows what it knew in life, including languages it knew. Answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive, Ooh. and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer truthful answers if you are hostile to it or if it recognizes you as an enemy. This spell doesn't return the creature's soul to its body, only its animating spirit, thus the corpse can't learn new information, doesn't comprehend anything that has happened since it died, and can't speculate about future events. Hey, Obron, should I disguise myself as Ilya? Would that help? No. No? But, I mean, if if he's afraid of the man, then maybe it'll intimidate him into... The man is dead. Well, sure, but... He'll be dead. Well, yes. All right. Just offering ideas. Okay, so you, cast a spe you cast the spell, and um, sort of the gaunt face of the corpse. You know, nothing happens at first, and then just a... <clears throat> you hear, like, a wheezing inhale of breath, and the head kind of like tilts on the pillow like towards you and just and its eyes shift in your direction and just stares at you who did you work for the wolf master god damn <laughs> no that, that, that still hasn't that's still good information That's one question. So we have ten minutes for this. You have ten minutes, and you can ask up to five questions. Four now. Mm -hmm. So I kind of gesture for the uh, rest of the. Sorry, kind of want to just for the rest of the group to huddle up. Um. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Do not ask him questions directly until you're ready. Right. Okay. Maybe you should do the asking, and we should do the stipulating. So we know that he was definitely a dog worker. So mm -hmm. the workmaster will have some idea of who he, who he is and where he was working. Right. So what questions can we ask? No. So we could ask him about his family, perhaps. His family. If yeah. Ilya's using them as a uh, as a as a uh, bit of leverage, we could maybe figure that out. We could ask him what Ilya asked him to do. Any other ideas right now? Those two seem like the best choices right now. So just reiterate. What, Il what Ilya asked him to do and where his family was. Yeah. Turned out well, the if he knew where his yeah. family was, he would have tried to get him back. I presume he doesn't know. I mean... What? Safe questions. I gotta throw in an Australian accent with him at the end there. <laughs> gotta add some <laughs> Australian at the end, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, I turn, I turn back the corpse, and I ask, what did Ilya ask you to do? He asked me to dock the barge and fudge the information not to ask questions. Hmm. His contact, uh, whoever picked up the shipment, the representative. Well, he wouldn't know that. Wouldn't he? Maybe he met them. He the if he was docking the ship, maybe he met the guy. Unless they unload and then someone comes and picks it up. There's a lot of bureaucracy. <laughs> it's a big word. Well, the point is, Ilya is the one. Who brought this boat here? The barge. Right? Yeah. Yes. You can gather based on that answer that yes, Ilya was most likely aware of this barge. <laughs> which is why he had asked them not to, you know. Don't ask not questions. To say anything. Don't ask questions. <sighs> most likely ask, a friend here doesn't know much involved. more. Or, or you could ask him if there's anyone else notable from the barge. Or if he knows maybe what was in the shipment, well, no, if he wouldn't know what's in the shipment, that goes with the ask no questions bit. 
Ask him for three more wishes. <laughs> He's not a fucking genie! This, this is a corpse, not a genie. It's very different! Right, right, right. Maybe that can be the last question, though. If we don't come up with anything better. So, maybe any other notables from the ship that we could find? We want to waste one of our, or ask one of our questions for that. I mean... That's true. What else can you ask a dead ask him who else seafarer? Is in the warp? Who else, who else is involved in the warp? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's about as good as I got. Anyone else? I've got the corpse. You can ask the corpse. Who else on the wharf helped you in disguising this barge? The wharf master. Oh. And the head of sails. <gasps> oh shit. Okay. That's good. Isnor is writing all this down in his little pocket notebook. Should we what ask him if he's yeah. going to testify for us? <laughs> it's a corpse! It doesn't go to court! <laughs> we can't, unless, unless we hold court in ten minutes here, as Oberon said, we're not going to have more than a corpse. So, uh, Ryan, I have to write these down? Yeah. Just drag a corpse into uh. the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> look! Call look! We've got a witness! <laughs> call him to the stand. I have to wonder, the presence of this kind of magic, I wonder what this does to the, to the like, kind of system. Oh, god, that sounds awful. Um, <laughs> you would know in some extreme cases, this is something that uh, clerical work would be asked for to do, to help, uh, you know, with certain cases. But usually only particularly serious ones. So, okay, and so the back up. Wharf so two more Master and Head We know Ilya asked him to disguise the barge. We know the Wharf Master and the, rec and the Record Keeper helped him. Uh, what else do we need to know? I'd rather not just spend these last few questions on, on broad questions. We'll get, a, we'll get a equally broad answer. Yeah. We could ask for maybe the names, like, the name of his wife, maybe. Um, that could be a lead somehow. Maybe where he lives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be great. Okay. Once again, I kind of just confer a hawk and stuff. I, I really like the home idea, actually. Okay. Turn back and uh, ask the corpse. Where is your home? Where do you live? Here. <sighs> Shit. Maybe a bit more specific wording on that. Um, we know we, we know his name. We can ask around. We can figure out where Colton Henry lived. Um, one more. Vera now. Uh, as they're asking the questions, um, you do hear footsteps coming from down the hall. Oh shit. Only Vera hears. Only Vera. She's the only, she's the one close. I'm assuming she's the one closest to the doors. Unfortunately, uh, Bergen is BRB. He said no. He just got back. Uh, I'm, oh, he's, yeah, okay. he's back. Okay. <clears throat> All of us are huddled around the corpse, <laughs> a body covered in blood. This looks great. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna end badly. This is gonna be great. It's fine. You've got standing. It's great. Um, it's fine. I've got fireball. Is the, is the room is the room dark? By the way. Darkish, yeah. Ish. It's not so dark. It's okay. Not like so dark. It's like imagine like. You know, imagine like on a bright day outside, mm -hmm. you just have all the Last curtains day. drawn. Right, yeah, so, you know, okay, dimly lit. Really dark, dimly lit. Oh, shit, accidentally hit my mic. Anyway, okay. I'll, um, I'll let out a sharp, uh, and then, uh, <laughs> kind of jam my thumb towards the door. Oh, shit. Um, Islenor tries to find the darkest corner possible and slides over into it and just presses up against the wall. Okay, real quick, I asked the corpse, who killed you? I... Don't know. <sighs> Shit. And you hear the rest yes. of the breath. Yeah. Leave. Leave his. Um... Oh wait, no, that was four, right? No, that was five. Uh, that was five. Okay. Yeah, you hear the you hear the the rest of the breath leave the corpse's body and it slumps over lifeless again. Shit. The footsteps are getting louder. Oh, shit. That's why I asked and you hear someone, and then you hear someone call out a voice that you recognize. 
the hell happened to my door? <laughs> Isnor is just like trying to become the wall at this point. <laughs> just gonna toss it in the gold coin and then wink. You don't see anything yet. He's in the hallway. <laughs> He's just in the hallway. <laughs> Shit. You presume shit. he just sees shit. a door on the <laughs> Maybe someone <laughs> should entrance. someone should go talk to the dragonborn, maybe. Who actually is charismatic in our group? Hawk! Go talk to the dragonborn! Like getting louder. Hawk! Go intercept the fucking dragonborn! <laughs> From where? Just walk out and talk to him! Okay. <laughs> you just walk out the you just walk out into the hallway? Yep. <laughs> You go, ow, 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 you, go, you, go, you go outside and you do see the uh, dragonborn um, uh, barkeep. Uh, it goes like, the hell happened? The hell did you do to my door? <laughs> oh, oh my god. He catches it. He catches it. Well, to be honest, yeah, that actually pays for the door. <laughs> Oh. Holy <laughs> shit. What, what the hell happened to my door? <laughs> and he starts walking towards you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold, hold on a minute. Hold on. Just give me a sec. Give me a sec. What do you need a second for? You, you may not want to go in there. Why not? It's, uh, I, I, I had to poop. <laughs> Um, well then, <laughs> oh, dump it out the window. My like God, you're to. I, I'm just doing you the courtesy of not having to deal with that. <laughs> Where's Colton? <laughs> he ripped the door open to take a poop, guys. <laughs> he really had Why to go. Why did he rip a door open to take a poop? <laughs> he really had to go. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. <laughs> you're not my dad. There's public places downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of uh, approaches you again, and he, he goes to, like, shove you out of the way to look into the room. Hearing all this shouting, is the noise. Persuade him gonna... to, uh, give me, give, a, give me, uh, ten minutes with Colton. Okay, give me a persuasion check with <laughs> disadvantage. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, uh, well, well. The jig's up, guys. We gotta kill him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, he got he he, he kind of just snarls at you and he <clears throat> pushes you out of the way. He's pretty strong, um, and you know looks in the dark room and just sees all of you, sees what he thinks is a corpse on the thing. Sub him waves again. <laughs> hey, the hell have you done? Nothing other than investigation work. The hell have we done? Yeah. He's been dead for a day and he never noticed. To be honest, I mean. Lots of people go in the rooms and don't come out for several days after drinking here. You couldn't smell it? The doors are pretty well sealed. <laughs> well, they were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, sorry about that. I don't know. What happened? As you can see, the man was stabbed. <laughs> he kind of goes over, you know, looks over the corpse. Go ahead and give me a per go, go ahead and um, give me a persuasion check. Oh boy. Please succeed. Or me in particular. Um I got this. You or I got this. You or Hawk. <laughs> I would say Hawk, despite his previous failure. <laughs> Better. So high number. He kind of grunts. Hmm. You're right. He's been dead at least a day. Oh, thank God, he knows something. Oh, lad. <laughs> I mean, I didn't All lie. Right, he I'll is guess resting the... in peace. And he kind of just—he kind of just looked. He kind of just gives you this look, like really. <laughs> there isn't. Really I'll call the god. I'll call the god, and they'll take care of it. <sighs> On the currents? No. <laughs> what? Not when I'm around. Huh. Fair enough. Do you uh, know who this man was interacting with, speaking to, any anyone he was dealing with? Colton was fairly young, but you know, most people 
tolerated him. I would, wouldn't know anyone who would want to do this to him. When did he rent this room? Oh, he's been renting it for weeks. Mm. Pretty much since he started working at the wharf. <clears throat> he has his family living in a small village outside, uh, outside the city. To my knowledge. Did he ever mention which city? Which village specifically? Which village? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, which village? No, I do not know. Hmm. It was far enough away to be inconvenient to come to here to work every day. Hmm. Stay here most of the week, and then go home, and then come back. Hmm. Is there anyone you'd hang out with, talk, speak with, in the, in the you'd hang out with in the, in the end? Drinking Specifically buddies. people of note, or that stand out. Only one of note I could think of would be the Wolf Master. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Alright. <clears throat> kind of look around, kind of beseeching anyone, if, any, if you have anything you want to ask, ask it. I think we've got a lot from this one room. I think we have a lot more questions. Thank you. I'll uh, leave you to it to dispose of this. Well, I won't be doing it. I hope you find whoever did this. <coughs> Before I do. Oh. And he kind of just uh, walks out of the room. Isonor breathes a massive sigh of relief. Oh. <sighs> that could have gone much worse, huh? That was fine. Could have also so, gone better. Sure. Most really things, okay? Extremely convincing story. Yes, your extremely convincing poop story. As you kind of hear him yell from, like, down the hall. Don't touch any more of my doors! <laughs> 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 Sorry! Let's, um... So, so... Uh, scoundrel, why no. did you open the door? My these tools broke on that chest down when we were investigating the underground area. And you didn't think this well, was I... gold to repair it? Health potions are important and expensive. He, he bought a lot of health potions. I bought a lot of health potions. It's really like I didn't I prefer dying. I'll make some more or something. I'll figure it out. I guess I could have I guess I could have mentioned. I do have multiple healing potions. You could have borrowed some, but you <clears throat> He seemed very interested in buying those. Just, you know, just a thought. You didn't... <sighs> <sighs> he didn't even think to offer that information up during the transaction of me giving away the majority of the money that we were supposed to be preparing for this venture with. Toss a gold coin in and make it. Yeah, what the... <laughs> uh... He shrugs, you didn't ask. You know, that's entirely fair. Alright, I'll... Thanks, Hawk. Um, I'll pocket that. One gold. Right, I'll owe you by... I'll figure it out. Um... It'll be fine. At least I have money now. Uh... Okay, uh, so... I'll write that you down and... need to go speak with Captain Irwin. Yeah, I need some tools badly. Yes, yes, you But... It's one thing to be questioning random people from docks, but to be questioning the Dwarf Master himself and the Record Keeper, as well as a Lord of the City? This is going to be a very delicate... Well, maybe... Well, we found out all this information. Should we just bring it back to the Lord Baron? We could show it to her, and she'd be on our side then. This is irrefutable. Unfortunately, it's not irrefutable. It could very easily have been planted after or by the killer but this to a corpse <laughs> and this one was stuck under the desk i mean this seems like desperation if nothing else oh i agree and i truly do believe Ilya is guilty but if five outsiders of the city approach a uh, someone of such high standing accusing him of treason against the city who will be believed yeah i suppose i can see how we are, that's we are ordered by the water baron yes 
I think we need to see this Captain Irwin first and bring the evidence we've gathered so far. Oh, this is enough. I think it's the. <laughs> Makes a fair point. Who... Would I have insight into that? Do we trust anyone? <laughs> would, I, would, I, would I honestly have any any belief that Captain Irwin could be? For the sake of my sanity, no. You, you, you're fairly sure Captain Irwin is trustworthy. The web of lies grows thicker by the second. <laughs> Guys, this is supposed to be a, a one shot, a two, two session adventure. <laughs> we are now three times that length. The wrong group for that kind of thing. Yeah. You got a pair of overthinking Maybe for engineers. A full campaign, then sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Order of business. We gotta talk to your Captain Irwin. Present the evidence. Um, swing by the hall of happenstance or whatever. I need a map of the Underdark. Just a sidebar sort of thing, kind of my checklist of things to do. Um, and then we can. I've been meaning to ask. Yeah. What What is your connection to the Underdark? You've been quite interested. Um. Uh, well, uh, sort of a passing curiosity. You are not of their side. I... I've explored some very treacherous areas and things that caught my interest that got me a bit in over my head. Um, the under... Adventure. Several times, actually. It's an extremely unwelcoming place, but I was down there for longer than most probably should. I, I've i grown accustomed to the dark. It's it's why I came to this city. I couldn't, I couldn't take the loneliness and silence anymore. I needed sun and other people. I might be a scoundrel, but I still got tired of talking to mushrooms. Nothing down there that doesn't want to eat you other than the mushrooms. And the, you know, under dwarves and dark elves, they're not the most friendly of sorts. So, I made a break for it. I said, enough's enough, and, well, I guess it sounds like we're going back down there eventually. I guess one doesn't always get away from the things that they hate. Truly they don't. Um, well then, do you remember, so... You escaped there recently, or have you been up on top? Oh, I've been up here for a while now. It was a completely different part. Nothing near here. That's why I'm looking for a map. That way, if we do need to go down there, we... I mean... I'd, I'd be familiar, at least. I see. Thank you. Alright. Unless we, uh... Have anything else we want to try and do, I'd say we go to the... The fortuitous hall of happy, happy, of happy happenstance. God, is that... <laughs> fortuitous hall of happy... Or... Ha the happy hall, the hall of, of fortuitous, fortuitous happenstance. happenstance. Ah, <laughs> ah. Happy hall of fortuitous happenstance. It's such a long fucking name and it's at the top of my notes. <laughs> uh. That was an open question. Is there anything else anyone else want to do? I've got nothing. That I can think of. It's probably yeah. our next stop, I think. So we're gonna have to still investigate the winery, but everything is keeps bringing us closer and closer to Ilya. Well, judging by what I remember of the city, the Happy Hall is, you know, close to the Baron's Hill. We can stop there, stop at Irwin, and then we're heading towards the other Irwin side of town, the right? Tower, just so you know. Oh yeah. God, <laughs> you wouldn't know that. Yeah, the Shield Tower is where again in the city? The Where's west the side. <laughs> west. Oh, oh it's map. there, okay. Yeah, it is literally... The it's opposite the side of fucking map. town. <laughs> I mean, we're in the wharf, right? So. Well, yeah, we are here, yeah. So we should probably go speak with... Captain Him, Captain. and then go here, and then we can go over here. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I, um... I agree. Lead the way. At this point, I will say, it is almost one o'clock. Yeah, How much longer do you guys want to continue? I'm, I'm, it's probably a good spot to take a break. If we don't want to continue, up, yeah. Up to you guys. I'm good. I think the only person that would be really owl would be up to that. Because he well, works tomorrow, so. I'm 
more just thinking, yeah, these people you work are people in the East Coast, in East Coast time. Yeah. Well, it's one o'clock for me, midnight for yeah, you guys. So. Yep. For me, it's only eleven. So I, I'd easily keep going. But yeah. You guys, yeah, Same. I, I'll let you guys. Decide. Owl, what do you think? Owl. I mean, I can technically get into work at two p.m. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. You eat Sound. Pictures. What do you want? I'm good to keep going. I can go for. I can go for at least another hour. Okay. Cool. That, whatever. Be... Let's do it. Let's keep it going. Then let's go talk to Captain Irwin. Okay. Um, let's guys... continue to roll ones. Yeah. <laughs> roll for one. I rolled a one. I'm actually, actually upset. You know what? <laughs> I mean, let, I, it's actually gonna let me take a break because my throat's actually really bothering me. That's fair. So fair. I'll go um, get some water. Let's reconvene in five-ish minutes. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Okay. So maybe we'll like have the latest like at like the top at of the midnight. Hour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. I will be right back. I will be right back to you and get some water and some food.
can't believe our fucking dice rolls. Okay, I'm back. I think it's just you and me right now. What? I think it's just you and me. Oh? But it's the top of the hour. They're late. Oh. Well, they got three seconds, and yeah, they're late. Uh. But he got the uh, Ryan's inverted laugh going. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so yeah, so we managed to split the party perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> By perfectly, you mean Jesus Christ. <laughs> also, how do we keep rolling once, like every third roll? Like, like what every, the fuck? Every important roll, we just roll the worst. <laughs> uh, unimportant rolls, we're getting great rolls on. We're, we're failing upward. <laughs> yeah. God. Guys, let's be real. We're the best people at rolling dice ever. So, we're the we're just like a Monty Python sketch. We literally are, and I love it. <laughs> If, if Speak with the Dead wasn't a thing, I'm pretty sure Cruz will just throw up his hands and be like, Mr. Like, Man's been solved. Credits roll. Credits roll, yeah. <laughs> you guys spend the rest of your lives in Yartar trying to figure this shit out and you die of old age because you can't fucking Gosh. do it. I hope we have a cameo in Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> <laughs> Our entire party is Scooby-Dooing around the hallways of an inn. Ugh. I mean, that, that cinematic they put out was in Yartar. It's so. in Yartar, yeah. Yeah, so we'll be in the background. <laughs> Just all rubbing our chins like, what the well, fuck is going three, on? Three of us will be obvious in the background, and then mm -hmm. the turtle and the minotaur, they actually cameo as a plate sitting in, in the <laughs> end. Because they've been... Alright, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. Hello. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can't believe you're late to your own campaign. This is why it keeps. This is why we're on session six of a one shot. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not a one shot. It's called a long shot now. Ah. Uh, yeah. That, that also describes how. Well yeah, I was gonna say a long shot, kind of like our investigation and how we play a long shot. Hey, I got real emotional there. Okay. All right. Are we all here? I haven't heard Warmer Bergen yet. Oh, Mon. Oh, Mon. Yeah, I'm here. Aha. I'm here. Aha! Uh -huh. okay, we are here. Cool. Proceed. Right. You guys make your way over to the Shield Tower, crossing uh, over the same bridge that many of you entered the city from. Mm hmm. Except <laughs> you. <laughs> you all proceed um, uh, across and enter the Shield Tower. Or approach the shield tower rather. Um, it is lots of uh, um, 
uh, shields of Yartar moving about, uh, handling the business. You do see the same sort of, uh, for what many of you recognize, the same sort of uh, like checkpoints where they seem to be sort of questioning, inspecting people coming into the city. Uh, more, much more thoroughly this time. Uh, they seem to be cool. There seems to be quite a bit more security on that in that uh, particular area. Makes sense. Um, obviously, likely due to the events of the night before. Fucking big ass explosion. <laughs> what do you do? Well, uh, do I take Captain Irwin? Make a perception check. Is it safe? Hey, it's a save. Oh, thank God. For plus seven. Um, you do not see Captain Irwin. Okay. Fine. Then I approach a guard that seems to not be involved with the check with the uh, in uh, checkpoint. Okay. Um, you do you do catch a guard's attention? Ask Hello him. there. How can how can I help you? And I'm looking for Captain Irwin. I'm currently um, investigating the goings on of last night. Could I? Ah, yes. I believe uh, I've heard of you. Um, he is up in the shield tower in his office. You can find him there. Thank you. Start walking towards his office. All right. Um, you enter the tower. Um, so the guards, uh, having seen you speak to one of them uh, and having just your way, they just kind of move out of the way and let you in. Um, you, do you... Do you know where the, his office is? Well, I'm <laughs> assuming... He, oh, he didn't tell me what, where his office was? No, he just said it's in the tower. <clears throat> in the tower in somewhere. Office, the He's in okay. his office in the yeah, tower. Yeah, I never would have met him. Then I will ask another guard if I could be directed towards his office. Uh, yeah, I can show you the way. Follow me. Thank you. And I proceed to lead your group up. Um, the tower on the inside is, I should mention, it is uh, uh, mostly, it is a uh, vastly hollow um, with uh, sort of a large winding staircase around its perimeter yep. going up yep. uh, to the various other floors. Um, uh, you are taken up to the uh, what you'd expect to be like about the third floor um, and into and up to a door um, and the guard kind of just knocks on the door and says Captain Irwin uh, you have guests and uh, you just hear Irwin from inside go like let them in and he the guard opens the door for you and gestures for you to enter yep. I go ahead and enter uh, you do see Erin at his desk, uh, seemingly poring over papers, uh, you know, uh, seeming to be quite busy. Um, notices you come in and say, Oh, it's good to, good to see you again. Have you found any other information regarding our little, uh, incident? Oh, oh yes. Emma, go ahead and just for the door, uh, have the door be closed. He kind of, uh, nods to the guard and he, the, no the guard nods back and closes the door. This matter is getting more and more delicate by the moment. Oh, well, share and what I you found. Gesture to have uh, show him the notes. Okay. Could uh, we all come with you? <laughs> I assume you yeah, guys did. Yeah, okay. God, I hope so. <laughs> I'm not sure how Bruna made it in the tower and actually get up the staircase, but... <laughs> uh, she made it work. <laughs> Used to it. Uh, Isnor pulls... Out of his bag, all the letters and the box letters and stuff, and just kind of arranges them out on the table. So more or less, you guys just share what you've learned. Yep. Yep. Make it simplify, you know, uh -huh. streamline the process. Yes. You see, uh, as Erwin's kind of listening to it and poring over what he sees before him, he, you can see the growing concern on his face. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> he then kind of looks up. You're absolutely sure about this. You realize what this is implying. I exactly know what this is implying, and this is why I have come to you first before proceeding. Well, you've gathered quite a bit of incriminating evidence against Ilya. Uh, quick question. Did we, spec did we explain what we found out from the corpse, speaking with the corpse? Did oh, you? Oh, yeah. I've, I figured that did would go with the it? whole okay. part and parcel. Well, before I share that information, um, is that a faux pas? Mm, not particularly, no. Okay. Then, uh, so Captain, I'm sure you're aware of some of the services that my peers may provide in times of investigative need where we can uh, sometimes speak with the dead. 
yes, we've employed similar uh, cases at times with uh, some of the uh, the followers of Tamora. So our investigation has led us to a inn called the what was it? The, the Sleeping the Kraken. Kraken. Sleeping Kraken. Um, one of the wharf workers was found dead in that room, which is where we found these letters. So at this point, you hear a heavy knock on the door uh, outside. And you hear, Captain, Captain, oh, we've got a we've got a situation. Look, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> Uh, Missed I opportunity. Assume, uh, I assume that is the body we found. <laughs> you, yeah, we have a we have a situation. There's a we, there was a body discovered in the sleeping kraken. <laughs> yep. And uh, sort of sort of uh, sort of uh, Erwin just kind of looks over at you, and I assume that's what you're talking about. Yes. Very good. <laughs> just so... put it, you know, where in the invest in the. Autopsy room. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it after. He tells the guard, "Yes, sir." And he, the guard, kind of goes and takes care. Of, goes off to do his business. So during questioning the body, that, that sentence I never thought I think I would say. <laughs> <laughs> In questioning the corpse, <laughs> who do you work for? Slap oh. around a bit. <laughs> 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 Oh, With his own <laughs> arm. Oh no! <laughs> Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Who do you work for? All right, continue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Welcome to D and D. Oh boy. The uh, the corpse implicated both the workmaster and the keeper of records for the work in hiding the barge's entry. Well, it's very concerning, though not beyond the capabilities of someone like Ilya. Definitely could have, could definitely could have bought out or bribed or bra blackmailed any number of people. Uh, merchant lords are quite powerful, and they do have that ability, and it's not unknown to them for them to do such things. So it is usually quite hard to prove it. The fact that you have this much evidence behind it. Did good work for that. We had yet to investigate the brewery itself. Once we discovered these, we thought it best to come seek with you first. I've actually had work. I've actually had my men do a thorough investigation of, of the both the warehouses and the breweries when you mentioned it at the um, meeting. Um, funnily, it was well and thoroughly cleaned of any evidence before we could do so. And if you are correct, and it is Ilya who is behind this, he was part of that meeting, he would have known. So when we spoke with the Keeper of Records, he refused to provide us a copy of the purchase order for the barge. But on that purchase order, there was two entries that were of interest. One, from a company, I believe it was known as Unimportant. Ah, uh, yes. So we essentially the... look at Hawk. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, so typically... Unimportant wares, I as the name see. might suggest, and they kind of just kind of just kind of stare at Hawk. Uh, well, well, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, gunpowder. I know of it. Yes, it's likely what caused the explosion. Uh, I, I wouldn't classify that as unimportant. Are you saying that the shipment? From unimportant was gunpowder. Highly likely. He kind of just takes out some notes and scribbles some things down. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> I'll leave that. I'll dis I'll, don't worry about that for now. Very well. <laughs> What's the other thing that they. Uh, what was there the was other. A, uh, kind of turned towards. Uh, our your half elf friend here. Uh, there was a, a personal shipment. Personal, Didn't say yeah. exactly. what it was. It was from Waterdeep. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was. I that there was no 
name specified for who received this personal shipment. Just no names. Representative of the brewery. Nothing. Nothing of what it was. No names. The, nothing. I do hear from the, the guards investigating the wharf that they are having difficulty pinning down any sort of concrete information. Um, I assumed that whoever was behind this did cover us of their tracks. Um, I did not know how or where, but that is uh, now we now we likely know how and where. Yes. If the no wharfmaster and the um, and the head of sales yes. were both bribed or oh, or blackmailed in some way, then that would definitely allow them to manipulate um, many of the logistics. Agreed. I'll bring them both. I'll bring them both in for questioning. You did good. Come, I will report this all to the Water Baron. Likely come this evening to the Water Baron's Hall, and uh, we'll likely go from there. I see. Thank you. Is there anything else you found? Was there anything else we found? Um, no. Or anything else you wish to share? Um, nope. All right. Then I'll see you at the Water Baron's Hall this evening. This evening. Goodbye, Ken. Take care. All right. Uh, as you guys all leave his room, um, Hawk, give me a perception check. Uh oh. <laughs> the Water Baron's about to show up and kill your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> my god <laughs> god can our team just be called the low rollers please because we are <laughs> all right. uh you all exit um the guard outside is still standing there and uh nods at you would you like an escort out you want me like to the group, would you like an escort? <laughs> I'd like an escort. I think I think an escort's good. Yeah. God damn it, I'm Alright. Uh they escort you back out of the tower. Um uh you exit, you're out in front. Uh it is currently uh, mid ish afternoon, so you likely have, you know, a few hours to kill before uh evening. Uh you're Second free. Second lunch. Second lunch free to, free to do as you please. Don't do no second lunch. We gotta. They don't even know about second lunch. We need to hit up that happy hole yes, next, and then we're going to go to the brewers. Yes. I see there's no harm. Oh. Guards said they found nothing, but they didn't know well, they are not uh, keen and perceptive minds now, are they? Uh, yes. Keen and perceptive. They are keen and perceptive mind. Yes. Yes. Come on, we're a great group! Everyone's not smiling! This is fun! Kind of... Better than being trapped underground. If the, if the occasion was different, it would be quite fun, yes. Yeah, right. Let's go find a map. And he just starts walking back into town. Okay, uh, where in particular are you headed? The Happy Hall of Fortuitous Happenstance. Happy Hall of Fortuitous Happenstance, got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you make your way over uh, to the market square. Um, all at this point, pretty much nice and cleaned up. Um, just the typical, seemingly the typical, you know, sale stalls you'd see now. No, no signs of the festival anymore. Um, you do approach the sort of dreary-looking structure that is <laughs> the Hall of Fortuitous Happenstance. It's so um, ironic. Uh, the stairs lead up to the large double doors. Seemingly the entrance. What do you guys do? Is there um is there some sort of protocol I should be aware of? Like, don't. Would I be aware of? <laughs> yeah, of the customs of this temple. Not particularly. Um, though, from your experience being a cleric, um, most temples that are like this are usually fairly open to the public and anyone can enter. It's, there isn't any sort of like restrictions on that. Um, and I believe uh, you're the only one that actually knows. This is a... Well, no. Who? I forget who else. Um, I, do, I believe you're the only one who knows over on that this is a temple to Timora. 
the goddess of good fortune and luck. Do the others know that it's a temple? No idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone else actually. None of us. Uh, I I don't. I have no I idea. Definitely wouldn't. Right, I'll turn to Azanor and ask. So why do you think a temple would have any information about what you are looking for? Well, um, we took a stop at the cartography store up in the trade ward there. Um, oh, shit, I was there for that. You were. Yeah, I'm just reminding you. Friendly reminder. Yeah, he said to come here. So presumably... You were told that, you were told that do have, they do have a library here. So you might yeah. be able to find information on what you're looking for. So we just got to get in that library and do some reading. So I clamp my hand down on, on the Apple's shoulder. This is a temple. Mm -hmm. And I will not have you disrespect it. Mm -hmm. No stealing, no bribing. Got it. Okay. Okay. And he heads on inside. Go ahead and enter. Anyone else doing anything before you go and take a swig? <laughs> Got it. Where do you keep getting no. beer from? <laughs> well, I think he still has whiskey from the. Uh, oh, the yeah. Fish. They've been holding that shot of mm -hmm. whiskey for the whole time. No one really cares where their cups go in this world, do they? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a red solo cup. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Party monster. Actually, I meant to ask, uh, Solomon, do you have any... Isn't there, like, one spell, press stage or something like that, can actually repair things? Mending. Mending. Uh, do you have those spells? I don't think I do, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't got that. That poor door. <laughs> It's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, upon entering um, the hall, the happy hall. The happy hall. No oh, shit. Is there a map for this place? No. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know. Barely a time to come up with a barely. Well, if we had a map in here, I'd be real concerned. Yeah, that's why I was. That's why yeah. I thought he was going if you for. See a map that means there's combat. There's combat. Yeah, that's what I was like. Wait, is he like trying to GM layer this right now? What's going on? <laughs> so as you enter, um, the ceilings are tall and vaulted. Um, the interior is adorned with tapestries and paintings. Um, that uh, cover the walls, depicting various uh, different events. Um, you're not, none of you are particularly familiar with any of them. Um, there are the same sort of robed figures uh, sort of moving around the interior. Um, one of them is sort of, sort of at what you'd ex expect to be like a greeting desk, maybe, um, in front. Uh, and there is a, a, apparently past that you do see sort of the main room, which uh, has sort of lots of places of where you'd sit and you know, meditate or worship. Uh, and then the um, in the far back, a large statue um, of what you'd expect to be time on. Mm. Please don't make me describe it. Because mm -mm. I don't know. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the uh, human at the front um, sort of sees you enter. It was like, oh, welcome, welcome to the happy hall of fortuitous happenstance. Um, are you here to uh, per peruse the uh, premises? Are you here to donate or perhaps your followers? Um, I haven't stepped forward in the last. Mm -hmm. uh, we, were, uh, we were hoping to actually speak with the Keeper of War. Um, yeah, in the li with the library, yes, you most certainly can. Uh, simply go ahead, go out and the door on the left at the end of the hall. Thank you. Go ahead and follow, follow directions. Making sure that the, uh, is Lenore is with me. Is Lenore is looking around habitually at anything that could be pilfered or stolen right now. Yeah, that's exactly what Give me exactly a perception check. I'm... Yep. Keep me or him? <laughs> him. Um, 21. <laughs> hmm. You do take notice as you kind of go towards the end of the hall, up towards what would be like the, uh, what do they call it? The... I'll be right back. The Sorry. pulpit? The, yeah, I guess the pulpit. Yeah, that, I guess that's what it would be. Um, you do see what seems to be sort of a uh, donation. What would have been donations to mm. the, uh, to the, um, uh, church. Or mm -hmm. 
temple. He just puts his hands in his pockets. <laughs> Not supposed okay. to be stealing things, but I see them. <clears throat> anything else? For anyone? Oh, but, okay. Did he actually grab anything? Oh no, I'm just looking. No, he just looked. He just, just looking. Him. Okay. Okay. Then I am. Uh, what do you want? Again, I'm keeping an eye on him the entire time. <laughs> you guys go to the end of the large open hall. Um, you take your uh, doorway to the left. It opens up into a um, a another smaller chamber. Um, uh, still fairly tall ceilings here, though. Um, and into sort of a small common area with seating and tables. Uh, with surrounding um, numerous bookshelves, um, fairly tall, uh, they go fairly high up, up to the ceiling, uh, give or take twenty feet or so, um, and just books lining everything. Um, a individual does approach, and uh, you do see uh, a um, a familiar face uh, that you've all seen now at least twice. Um, you see an old man, um, human, um, senior, average height, sort of bald head uh, with a, with a whitish gray beard, um, and wearing the same type of robes as the rest of the followers here. Um, and he kind of approaches you. Hello there. Is there anything I can do to assist you? Um, yes. We are looking for maps. Do you have... Um, interesting, uh, cartography items here at this library? We have a few. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Specifically, I'm looking for a map showing entrances to the Underdark in this region. His eyes kind of, you know, perk up at that. And simply says, the Underdark? What? What would you possibly... Oh, wait, I remember you. You're the Back, group sorry that's... about that. <laughs> no problem. Are you were the group that's is investigating into the occurrence last night. We are, yes. Ah, yes. Um, I, we might have what you what you seek. There are some fairly old tomes and scrolls here. That you are definitely free to look around. Um, I can have some of the uh, some of the followers assist you if you'd like. That'd be great. Anything that we can help speed this up. Okay. Um, I will need... Um, is, I'm assuming everyone is helping with this? Yes. Okay. I will need everybody to give me an investigation check. Would my... No, I guess I would have no real... Nothing would help me. With my background. Um, <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> Yeah. 26, 11. Well, because we had those natural 20. So the minus uh, one. What, what the? Perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, Jesus Christ. Islanor is not good at looking through books. We can find some <laughs> fucking maps, though. Yeah, yeah we, we can. can. Give me. A, now I need you all to give me another one, please. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, that's much better. You just got, you just kind of drank too much that Haha! <laughs> I did it. So, Bergen, I want to point, I want to point <laughs> out that you've been consistently rolling give me, amongst the highest. Give me one more. <laughs> this is a skill test. <laughs> that dice went way too far. Come back. Oh, no, Bergen. <laughs> 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 yeah, that didn't um, last very long. <laughs> fuck, jinx me, Bradley. What the fuck? Classic Bradley maneuver. Yeah, classic Brad. <laughs> <laughs> what are you rolling against the fucking maps evading us? <laughs> we look for maps, rocks fall, everyone down. No, I'm, I'm rolling, rolling for the followers or assistants. Oh, okay. <laughs> the books are all mimics. How big is this library? I forgot to ask. Uh, it's not massive. Uh, given your giving your background and where you're from, uh, you've definitely seen larger libraries. But this one, given the kind of town that you or city that you've come to know, uh, Yart Tar is. Um, it's more than you probably would have thought that a town like this would have. Never really been in um, libraries before. It's a lot of books. 
That's a lot of books. Um, with all of your searching uh, and the assistance of the um, with the assistance of the words, uh, the followers of Timora, along with the older gentleman who you never asked their name. Um, then we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you do uh, you do sort of amass a reasonable amount of information regarding the Underdark. Mm. Uh, so, um, you do find the sort of the general information of what it is, the type of denizens that live there, um, some of the origins. Um, in terms of entrances, you don't particularly find a location for any of them. Mm. However. With some clever cross-referencing, um, you do actually reference a book on ancient dwarven fortresses. Oh. Uh, and you locate that there was actually, at some point, an old dwarven fortress in the high forest. I'm going to take you over to the um, world map. Big map. Big boy map. Very big. Um, Big land. Big land. <laughs> big water, big land. Big big water, big land. Um, <laughs> and you do cross-reference the existence of an old dwarven fortress that used to likely exist somewhere in the high forest, and you pinpoint it to being in the general vicinity of the a location known as the Lost Peaks. The Lost Peaks on the map uh, here are, if you're looking- I'd love to see, but I only see Yartar. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I not? <laughs> I'm sitting here like, yeah, Midtown, it's telling me a lot right now. <laughs> Alright, now you should all see the map. Yes. Yeah. High forests. Okay. Yep, okay. So, look at the high forest. Um, toward the left side, near the grandfather tree, oh, yeah, okay. this small range here ah. is known as the Lost Peaks. Okay. How big is that? Oh. Pretty big. <laughs> Pretty big. Not like <laughs> enormous, but big. pretty big. I'll be honest, I have trouble grasping scale in this map. Um, bottom left corner is a good. Uh, gives you a scale, actually. Oh, you can to zoom way the fuck that out is for a that. Big fucking mountain. Yeah, it's a big yes. fucking mountain. That's like <laughs> a 500 <laughs> mile mountain range. <laughs> so uh, the not 500, but it's like 200. That's big. Here, um, so Very big. that's a big fucking forest. Yeah. So referencing, ref yeah, it's a fucking massive. Forest. <laughs> <laughs> that forest so, wait, is a few hundred is, miles across. I see a square, a, a grid on this map. So how big is a grid? Or the single grid. The the single grid. That's actually just the default grid for um. Oh, okay. For, roll twenty. For D &D, for, uh, or okay. for roll twenty. It's almost exactly fifty though. On the miles for this map, almost. Almost. Okay. Almost. The but spacing's a little. Uh, you off. roughly guess that from here, that's about four hundred ish miles. Oh boy. <laughs> Huh. Road oh, trip! Not, not our first choice to be going to Underdark then to save these people. Because frankly, by the time we got there, they'd be dead. <laughs> or we'd be dead. I don't fucking know. Uh, I mean, it's just up the river. Just up the river through the woods. 400 miles. Mountain. Through Grandma, yeah, over having to no Grandma's house we go. Yeah. So you, you all being all fairly home. well traveled individuals, um, you would know that if you wanted to make that distance, likely. um, I have it here written. If oh boy. I'm basically going to my home. Not quite. A little bit closer than that. One second. Yeah, here. Is that here? No. Where did I put it? Here? <laughs> here? Here? <laughs> I actually didn't think I, I didn't think you guys would actually succeed that to be honest with you. Some of you rolled really, really <laughs> Ah! <hard>. Finally <laughs> we did it. something good! Carried us. Hey, for the I mean time. My second roll was a 22, so... it's We're all a team, guys. Bergen carried us. Yeah, he sure did, with that Giant natural 20. Very gently yeah. The so far, Virna's so like, far standing... Hmm. Actually, not as far as I... Is that 200? Uh, yeah, it's about 200 miles, and, uh... That's not as bad. So, you would know that... It would take you roughly... Didn't I, I swear I wrote this... I think what... Is what ten miles a day? I uh, know. So at a regular, at a normal pace, um, you uh, can travel about twenty-four miles per day. Yeah. On not uh, basically just at a rate. So nearly at, a little over a week. 
Yeah, it'll take you about you know, five, six, yeah, about five to six days, depending mm -hmm. on how you move, um, to in order to get there. Fast pace would be half that, right? Uh, no, fast pace you'd be moving about thirty-two miles oh, per day. Okay, so a slight bit less. Per, yeah. Four miles per hour. It's assumed you can only travel eight hours per day. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if you travel longer than that, you do have to take exhaustion. Point, you have to get, take points of exhaustion. Yep. To travel farther. Okay. But anyway, so for a rough estimate, you do know it'll be about you know, close to a week's travel to arrive there. So that is the information you garnered. You better hope and there's a lot of red tape in this process. That is seriously the nearest entrance. The nearest one that you'd figure, yeah, that there's the, that is known, at least from the information you have gathered here. That is the nearest entrance. It might be where they teleported. I would explain why they use teleportation and barges um, to be awful. But man, that would that would not bode well for people who are taken. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I should also mention I, the cross reference of Dwarven Fortress because it's believed some Dwarven Fortresses have interests to the Underdark. Oh, so we don't even know if there actually is one in there. We just suspect it. But some of them. Maybe. This is a blind fucking guess. It's a good guess, though. This is meant to be a one shot. <laughs> <laughs> We're overthinking the scenario. Let us do it. It's our characters bantering. It. It's our characters <laughs> bantering. It's fine. <laughs> Well, Oberon, unless you have any other better ideas, that right there, sticking his finger in like several books, this fortress seems like a good idea to me. I know, it's far away, and we might be doing a body oh. retrieval, but it's better than we have nothing. The fortress's name oh, is here. Deep Bane Keep. Oh shit. That sounds welcoming. That sounds real welcoming. Is Deep it, Bane Keep. Is it still occupied by doors, or has it been abandoned? Uh, the information you got on it is quite old. Um, you guys don't know. And there's no information given here as hmm. to whether it is still f inhabited, functional, who knows. Hmm. <sighs> well, hmm. I guess we see what the Water Baron says tonight. But we oh, might, mm -hmm. might propose a trip. Um, I, I'm actually impressed you guys got that. <laughs> I, made that one, I made that one pretty hard. Yes. <laughs> we <made it> <laughs> yeah, when you have to roll several twenties to succeed. That's a whole party with additional help. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. Well, they, Weird. Well, they didn't do too good. Least, <laughs> it's not like we're not like we're paying them or anything. It's, it's whatever. They don't care that much. Is there anything else I could assist you with? It seems you found some useful information for your investigation. Yeah, this is this is really yes, good. Useful? Yes. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid I never caught your name. Ah. I am the lawmaster and head of this temple. Uh, Ra Sehasti. Ra Sehasti. R A A L S I H A S T I. Sweet. Greeting, good sir. My name is Oberon Summer. I am a priest of shit. Um, <laughs> priest of uh. uh so Salinas. I would actually would not be someone who listed. Yeah, no, I think it's Corlon. Is it? Yeah, Corlon. Oh, yeah. okay, Corlon. Yes. Salinas, so we agree, but whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, Corlon <laughs> from uh, Sil Silver Moon. Ah, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, um, so. I'm Islanor, I'm Ranger, Explorer, and uh, getting himself in trouble extraordinaire. Well, that is an understatement. Hopefully you don't get into <laughs> too much more trouble. <laughs> involving our city, anyways. Uh, yeah, we'll try and keep the trouble outside. Um, cool, I'll take note of all this, and uh, we'll be on our way, I think. This is amazing. Um, thank you for your assistance, um, everyone who helped us. The, the the other the other um, the other uh, followers just kind of nod and simply smile at you. I can you speaking with the uh, lore master here and uh, ask him. So have the uh, troubles of the last few of the last night uh, affected your operations here? 
Not particularly. We put, keep to our, you know, selves here. We're not too involved in the sort of issues of the city beyond the assistance and, you know, trying to keep people happy and, you know, everyone in good spirits. This is the happy hall of, <laughs> after all. Sure, I figured there'd be a great number more people in attendance today. Uh, I believe there's a bit, a bit of a scare right now. The, everyone's staying at home, and the guard have all been recommending everyone stay indoors as well, if they can. Let's see. You know, quarantine and all. <laughs> <laughs> Social distancing, yeah, we get it. It's, it's important, yeah. When people start getting kidnapped, you kind of separate. Yeah, I'd like an inside check from this guy. Sure, go ahead. He's an evil drow to kill you all. <gasps> I, knew oh, I knew it! Roll for initiative! <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it was the battle of that ball all along! <laughs> it was powered. <laughs> oh, I love it. It was the battle of my dwarves before. I knew it! Alright, um... Yeah, you know... You yeah. kind of get like, yeah, this guy's... He's a priest. He's a priest. Questioning oh, a man priest. of the cloth, how dare you. Oh no, I just wanted to get a, a feel for him. All right, well, let's, um, oh, shit, I totally forgot. I meant to ask Owen for fucking these tools. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be asking the captain of the guard for these tools. You suggested Owen. No, I suggested we go get them fixed. Oh, well, that's a better idea. Thank you, good sir. You've been, <laughs> You've been saying this out loud. <laughs> Having a he's, sudden revelation. He's just, he's just hes just smiling and just kind of chuckling to himself. Um, it takes uh, all kinds to make a world. Take care. And kind of fortune forever follow you. Bows his head and quietly, embarrassedly walks back toward the exit. <laughs> and I keep, I follow, follow, keep an eye on Isidore. Is anyone else doing anything? Waving. But then following. <laughs> Waving. Okay. Uh, you're out- you're back outside? What are you doing? We need to find a blacksmith that can fix these. And he holds his little broken <laughs> lockpicks. It, we went to earlier? it was. You did. You visited, um... Too many tabs. Uh, so you many visit, times. Uh, the Clink and Clank. Uh, yeah. Which is owned by, uh, run by Ifan Hughes. Let's go back there real quick. Ifan Ben Mezd. You Ben Mezd. Let's um. Let's make a you quick side tour back there. We'll waste time. We can. We gotta wait until the evening, right? Let's go waste time. Let's go waste time. Let's go waste time. You can go drinking. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I actually have to work tomorrow, so. What? You really would like to nap a little bit. Oh, you do? Yeah. Then yeah. Go. yeah. Well, watch this thing earlier, dude. I mean. I sleep during the day, but I only slept like five ish hours. Yeah, so. no, dude, seriously. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we can stop. If we want to stop right now, we can. It's a good spot. Or do we want to just like. Well, is there anything I mean, else you guys want to do? Let's get us fucking. Other than getting my thieves' tools repaired. Yeah. <laughs> guys, is there anything else you guys want to do before you go to the Water Barons? I don't Not that think. I can think of. Okay. Then we'll just do this real quick and then we'll finish up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you all make your way back to the clink. You all make your way to the clink and clank. Um. Uh, you do see Ifan, sort of, uh, hard at work, uh, you know, doing the blacksmithing things he does and tending the shop along with the dwarves that assist him. He kind of sees you. Ah, you're back. Uh, good timing. We did actually just finished, uh, silvering all your, all your weapons. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, We've so been unarmed. <laughs> yeah, you've been unarmed, you've been unarmed this entire time. Uh, so... Uh, you do all receive uh, your weapons back. Silvered. Now, uh, being silvered. Yes. As well as a right? silvered frying pan. Yes! I forgot about I that! I forgot about that, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Yeah, oh, you have to get at least one Fierna's gonna beat some dudes down. Attack the nearest door. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, wonderful. Ooh, shiny! I love these and now. So the, the weapons all look... Pretty much the same, but their blades um, all are sort of when you kind of put them to the light, they all sort of glisten and shimmer 
a little bit more, and they have this sort of like speckled Shwing. kind of look to it. Hmm. And just as a reminder, that was it gives them the ability to hit. They're considered hmm. magical weapons, but with no benefit. Yep. Okay. So we can hit ghosties. So it's like basically a master weapon so this where it's basically a magic weapon without the without being a magical weapon. Sort of, yeah. They got rid of the whole masterwork thing and whatever. Okay. So they they just there's basically just like it's just an easy way to get a you know weapon. Non magical. <laughs> non magical, so because you you know, some uh enemies are resistant to non magical weapons. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, yeah, we're aware. <laughs> we know. Very aware, <laughs> we're thanks. Aware. Um so uh, beyond swords, can you um can you fix like small delicate things? Uh, yeah, I can definitely take a look. What do you what do you, um, what do you have in mind? And he kind of pulls his broken lockpicks out and goes, Might have had an accident with these. Uh, do you think you could patch some up for me? Or do you have as any? As long as you don't break into my store, I oh. might be able to do something for you. A little hard to break in without these. So, yeah, please, if you could. Um, How much would 20, that... 25 gold. Um, wow. hey, guys. <laughs> Sabum pulls out his pouch. Hotel, just cover it. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Daddy. Is that the cost of a new Thanks, game? Dad. Saw him. <laughs> All right. Um. That is how much can... thieves' tools cost. Yeah. Oh, wait, so you, you broke it that badly? I thought you just broke a single pick. No, I no, broke. No, that, when you when you roll a natural, well, it's it's kind of a it's not really a rule. It's a homebrew rule that I like to go by. If you roll a natural one on lock picking, your shit breaks. You, you break your you break your thieves' tools, so you need to either repair them or get new ones. Yeah. I figured, I figured it would just be like, hey, repair the pick you broke, and then rather be like, replace the entire kit. Eh, it's okay. the easiest way to do it is just to go by the price of getting a new one. Okay. Because I mean, I mean, this way he has to like you know reform metal and mm -hmm. fix it. You know, all takes a lot of skill too. So. Fair. Fair. Thieves' tools are, uh, you know, not that easy to come by. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, the value of gold. So like, what is like a meal, like a day's meals worth? Um, so actually, there is a thing. Okay, we'll we'll do that after. Let me yeah, just fair, finish fair, up, fair, so fair. then, I'm then on uh, yeah. I'm on. Can People can go to bed. Today. Um, fine. I'll get that done for you right away. Uh, this one might take me a little bit longer than the silver ring because I have to actually smith some things. Yeah, figured. This. Uh, you might want to come back tomorrow. Yeah, sounds good. We'll we'll be around still. All right, perfect. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help you guys with? Um, I think that's everything. All right. You didn't happen to run into Grill Rig, did you? No, not yet. We're still we're still looking. All right. All right. Take care then. You as well. Out the door. Clearly. With that, it is our approaching evening. Um, so I'm going to say you guys are going to make your way over to the Water Baron's uh, residence uh, where you were to meet in the evening. And that is mm -hmm. where we're going to pick up next time. Next time. Wonderful. Another RP filled episode. <laughs> Did we get to cast a fireball. I know. Yeah, Ugh. I'm the one who cast a spell the entire time. Yeah. You, I, I was really hoping, like, please tell me he remembers he has. Oh, I remember. I was like, goddamn. I'm not in the room. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Splitting the party is really fun. <laughs> the way we split it, too. Was yeah. I mean, we so. sent the people who can't negotiate to the no, negotiation really spot. Like, I'm like, I really want to do it. I'm like, oh, please. Well, I didn't really think it was going to be I, like, the fair You didn't know. It. I know. But I knew. <laughs> I knew. I planted. Like, I know you knew. I came up with, like, okay. I, you, I knew it was like, okay, they need a li I need them to get at least a couple pieces of evidence. I'm going to give them, like, as many options as possible. You're just failing all of them. <laughs> and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, we did not good. We're the heroes. Oh, I see. My fucking chatbot like, crashed a long you time ago. Had it right then and there when you asked the wharf master. If you, your insight was a little bit higher, you would just uh, had it right then and there. Of course. <laughs> Damn, yeah, that I, sucks. What are, I rolled like what? You rolled a 12. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, just, I, set it, I set the DC to like 14 or something. <laughs> of course. But at the time, I'm like, oh, if I had known this was going to go, I would have probably just given it to you. To be honest, I didn't realize it was going to be like another hour and a half of you guys rolling like sub five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we nailed it in the fucking library, though. <laughs> yeah, you guys, the funny, the thing that's like not that, that actually hard. <laughs> And not important. 
the not things that are important or hard, we can do no problem. Yeah, <laughs> which is a hundred percent on brand for my lifetime, my lifestyle. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's true for me as well. Extremely complicated but nonsensical all this, things. All this I'm good at it. I still couldn't get to use. God damn. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Next so time. How far we'll... ahead are you prepared? <laughs> <laughs> I have to start like another four sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, thought, I really thought we were gonna, we were gonna like. I know. Out, like, I did too. Get out of the city. Of the I city. did too. <laughs> In my head, I saw Next. it happening, but rolling Next fives session. and ones, real good. Next, Next session. Okay. Well, uh, that's enough for tonight. I gotta go see. Yeah. yeah good night. Good one. Thank you guys on Twitch for watching. Appreciate you, all of you. And, um. Is it Saturday yet? Is it Saturday yet? Join us next time for part seven of the one shot. <laughs> it's true, though! <laughs> oh, yeah, on that note, good night. Thank you.